chill. I'm a new streamer for real. But one more time. Yeah. What is up with Warriors? You already know it is me, Jay the Goat. And let's get back to it. Um, I just explained myself like three times. Y'all couldn't hear me though because um technical difficulties. Turn your mic up a little bit and it's good. So mm -hmm. but um yeah. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Rosati's newest video. Um, if you guys are a part of the bike life community or in any families or you know anyone that rides bikes, this has been like destroying the whole internet, the whole bike life community. Everybody's been like in tune with what's going on or whatever. And I thought it would be smart because I don't, I'm so far out of the picture, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know what's going on with, uh, with, uh, whatever, whatever they got going on and stuff. And I have yet to see the video. So I'm like, dang. Rosati's my guy, you know what I'm saying? I bang with Frank. So, I was like, dang, let me get on here. Let me watch this video. Um, completely unbiased towards either side. I'm just going to react. And if I have something to say, I'm going to say it. I got my guy Trinum here as well, too. Say what's up, Trinum. Yo. Oh, all right, yeah, Trinum in this ting and all that. So, um, so yeah, let's, without any further ado, man, let's get into this video. Let me, um, let's get into this. Oh yeah, go go show love to my guy Rosati. Um, go subscribe to him. This is page right here. He turn your mic up a little bit more. He got one seventy five thousand. Jay, turn your mic up. Yeah, I'm turning it up a little. He got one seventy five thousand. And yeah, that's my guy. This is newest video right here. I know it say I watched this much of the video, but I didn't. It's lying. Bet, bet, bet. I want to see my chat. I don't have no chat, y'all. Like, where y'all at in the chat? What's up? Where my chat? That is crazy. That better be the right chat link, because if somebody says something in the chat, I want to be able to see it. Let me make sure that this is the right chat link. Oh, my God. Somebody say something in the chat. They said, dog. I know. Chill. Chill. Yeah. I could just pull my chat up on my other phone. Give me a second. It's right here. I'm going to post your Twitch stream on my story. All right, bet. I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to go live right now. Well, I'm already live right now, <laughs> but I'm going to start watching your video right now. So, Rosati has a has a new video up. It has the whole bike life community, the whole internet shambles. So, go to my Twitch right now and you know what I'm saying? You about to get into it right at this moment. Therapy for me, I think when the pandemic happened with COVID. I don't care. Say no. <laughs> you got right, man, say, man, say, man, say. All right, hold on. I want to read this. Uh, stop. Send this video link to FBZ113 on Instagram. If he is he is the higher up for SE bikes at bike C O L L C. Dang, bike code L L C. Info advance. Dang. That is crazy. That's crazy. Hold up. He just he just put the popcorn emoji. I gotta go get some cookies. I'm sorry. Look at Rosati. Look at how Rosati just walked on the screen, y'all. I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta go get some. I gotta go get a snack, y'all. What's going on? Then I got headphones up. Thousands. All right, y'all. We got the cookies. <laughs> it's time to start this vid. Oh, my other phone is right here. Um. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Cookies with no bev is crazy. Who got no bev? I got some water. Oh, alright, oh, alright. Yeah, chill, 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 chill. I got my I got my chat open over here. I got my IG open right here. I got my cookies right here. And I got Rosati right here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Feel like yeah, this I ain't gonna lie. This is a movie night, y'all. the move. Go tune TikTok in to Twitch move. right now. This is a movie night. One Wheel Frank, sponsored SC Bikes rider, tried pressing me at a gas station. Yeah, boy, I just got right, man, say, man, say, man, say. Say, Tick, say, Tick. Don't be bringing out that camera like you finna do something, bro. Hey. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> What's up? You said it's on site when you see me. I'm right here. Bro, what you wanna do? Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. I don't do blah blah blah. Whenever you see me, you see me. When I see Rosati is up, I don't forget nothing. Y'all ain't gangster, y'all be telling lies. Okay, let's go back. Hey, he cried. Hey, he went home. What's up? You said it's on site when you see me. I'm right here. Bro, what you want to do? 
Bro, you posted What's some random shit to look. And I'm nobody here with me either. What are you talking about? What? What's your SD sponsors, this get today had crazy. A few moments later. Yo, I can't lie, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I saw this part. I only saw this part, though, y'all. This is the only part I saw. I don't know why or when or how or yo, what. Yo. Like, this is the only part I saw. Somebody showed me this. Show your screen real quick on Discord. All right. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. This is the only part I saw. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, somebody showed me this. I ain't gonna tell you who. Somebody showed me this. Yesterday. Oh! oh yeah, right here. To understand this moment. <laughs> Yo, wait, I wanna watch it again. I'm like, To understand this moment right here, we must look at the timeline and history. Exactly, that's what I want. I just want the timeline. I want you to explain it to me nice. Like, that's all I really want out of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanna know what's going on. Of SC to understand this moment right here, we must look at the timeline and history of SC Bike and why this is one of the most important paradigm shifts in bike life history. No one wants to be paradigm shift. Oh my god. I remember when D Blocks did that. Everybody used to hate D Blocks. They said they, they say he wasn't allowed in Philly when he did that. I remember that. Oh my god, like y'all need somebody to file y'all taxes for y'all stuff? Uh TurboTax does it with um And y'all don't like skipping ads neither because that's really how people make their money. Like my guy Rosati gotta get his bread, you feel me? My Jersey Mike subs. So all like doing that little glitch where you can switch it. <laughs> <laughs> it. I do that I do that all the time. Oh wait, hold Dude. up, was that Ling in the vid? I do that when I get mad. Really? Yeah, it's like it's just for you to throw Okay. On no jumper yeah that, that was crazy I, when i saw this i was like what <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like, what the fuck i'm like at first i'm like wait why is Rosati using a random clip of somebody on no jumper i do that when i get mad in Todd lines with todd right really wait what is he doing again yeah it's like a stress for you oh okay with your heart jumping fan i actually wait, hold up. Look at do that when, when i get mad really yeah it's like a stress for you oh okay what the fuck was that <laughs> i do that when i get mad really yeah it's like a stress for you oh okay with your heart jumping fan i actually hit like three calls before. just kind of nicked it you scratched the call right yeah hash, mm -hmm. hashtag suicide swerve suicide swerve that's what that's called mm -hmm. It's called. Mm -hmm. My name is Frank. Before listening to Young Boy and being programmed by RRD Blocks. <laughs> what? Yo. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, he did not just put that. Frank on 15 work. Saw D Blocks was coming to Miami. He got me my first bike because he said I was good. Rough Rider D Blocks, I have to say it that He put me on to everything. He taught me. He taught me the way how to do things. He is my role model. I'm like that. <laughs> hey, I see you tomorrow's gonna go down, my boy. Real talk. I'm here to destroy the illusion. Dang, man. So he was looking for trouble, like. Mr. Todd Lyons has created to thousands of riders all over the world and to reveal to you the truth behind SC bikes and their crew with nothing but fact. I'm here to show you that. Oh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> Let me put this out there. I'm, even after I watch this whole video and I take everything in, I'm not picking no side or nothing. I am just simply reacting to a video that is big in my community right now. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we had high quality. But yeah, let's get back to it. I'm just saying. 
Your heroes are not who you think they are, and this positive movement they claim to live by is nothing but some lie. You must be confused, like, what is Rosani talking about? I thought the SC crew was nothing but giving free bikes away and positive vibes. So grab your popcorn and buckle up, because this is gonna be an insane video. If you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself very quickly. My name is Alex Rosati. I've been riding and documenting the bike life scene since I was in 7th grade around 2016. As every other kid, my dream was to buy an SC bike one day, but since I was being raised by a single immigrant mother, that dream almost seemed impossible. Bro, so, I'm like, doing this right here, but it's like, it, I don't know if it's not time. Until one day, one of my YouTube videos blew up and I was able to use that money to buy my own bike. I was lucky enough to find a SoCal Flyer for $120 at the time, and that was the start of my bike life journey. When I first started riding bikes, the idea of a sponsorship wasn't even a thought. Nobody cared to impress these companies. The true goal was to go outside and learn some new combos, a style of doing tricks while wheeling. And at the time, the person innovating that scene was One Way Corey. I remember one day, I was sitting around watching my favorite YouTubers, Boyfriend vs. Girlfriend, and I I seen this clip of these kids wheeling in my Yo, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I seen that clip too, y'all. Like, that was iconic. In the, that was iconic back in the day. Like, if you from Philly, you watched BF versus GF, and you seen that video of Corey going crazy on the trails. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, court, like I think BF versus GF was like the first um, YouTubers I would watch. And... Like seeing them put uh, the bike life in there, that that that, that was city. I ran to a bunch of peeps from South Philly. Say what up? <laughs> oh, this the uh, uh, what was his name? I forget. Hey, follow us on Instagram. One way, what's that? Your group? Yeah. Rapper. And I just couldn't believe that this was happening locally. It almost seemed like a movie. You can see One Way Corey in the video cutting up. He was probably like 13 in it. So I would beg my mom to please take me to the city all the time. And she would always say no. So I just said, I'm okay, one day. And I took my 20-inch Chaos Walmart bike to the city with my friend DJ. And we went to the One Way The Takeover Part 2 ride out. And that's where we just met everyone there. Fast forward 20... Yeah, I wish I was around back then. I ain't... 18, I was invited by some friends to go to a memorial ride out in New York City. I didn't know much of it, but obviously, as always... Always, I was just open-minded to do anything and just take a risk, you know, just go far, just film videos. That's always been my mission since day one. It was my friend Ling and my other friend John. We went from Philly to New York, and you know, overall, we were just trying to have a good time. Thank you. Phoebe with the Robin, looking over tired. This is Alex Six nine was really that boy. I ain't gonna lie. Until yo, he had New York and everybody in the world in the choke. With another video, currently. We are in New York. This was my second time ever in New York City, so it's still new, you know, just going to the city. So we were in traffic, and I had my GoPro out ready to film one of my friends that was about to start wheeling. And then out of nowhere, sponsored SC Bikes rider RD Blocks got into my frame and proceeded to tell me this right here. What? <laughs> Yo, Rosati, you reckon in that ad revenue? Talk to me. <laughs> oh, boy. I do, I do already know, like, what happened here. I, like, clearly, of course, of course, I don't know, like, what actually happened. Like, I know, I know what Rosati's saying right here, basically. Like, I'm not saying that he's lying. I'm just saying I haven't heard the other side. But, yeah. Fuck. Tell you about that camera. It was pretty much referring to a moment in time. He, two months prior to this, he came to a ride out in Philly, and he came up to me personally. Why he looked like that. Time. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's two months whoa. prior. To Yo. This, Yo, who is this guy too? Wait, why? Yo. Wait a minute. Who is this though? Nah, for real. Nah, oh, deep into a that ain't even right. That man. out in Philly, and he came up to me personally telling me that. Ad placement? What do you mean? If I wanted to film him, I would have to pay him. And I was literally like a young boy at the time, and I was just like confused on why he told me that. Ain't nobody paying. Considering the fact that I've never even wanted to film this man, he's never influenced me in any way. And I never found his style impressive, to be honest. Speaker. Dang. So 16 year old Rosati was not having the way RD Blocks just approached him and told him that. No more dick eater. <laughs> Yo, RD Blocks is a fucking dick eater. You dick eating. You were dick eating. So, of course, RD Blocks, being the egomaniac he is, decided to. <laughs> Ego 
egomaniac. Push me off my bike in the middle of traffic. <laughs> You're kidding. No one wants you in the video. Then he pushed me off my bike. D blocks. F out of here. You really gonna do that? Shit? You fucking what you call me? What you call me though? Still told him. What yeah. you, you doing, yo? Mind you, Rosati is it? Rosati, I feel like Rosati was a minor here. He was around. like 15. Yeah. 15, 16. So you know what I'm saying? He was over 18. He then probably. spun back and took the GoPro off my head and launched it and then threw a bike at me. When I was only 16 years old, guys, and he was 26. At the time, he was fully being paid by SE. He was the face of the company. He had just gotten his signature bike. It almost seemed... Told you, he 26. Damn. That's crazy. Yo, how old is that nigga now? 37? <laughs> paid by SE. He was the face of the company. He had just gotten his signature bike. It almost seemed like this was nothing out of the ordinary. Yo, go check out this vid too. All right, D-Blocks assaults me when I am a kid. <laughs> for him like he's done this before to other people so after all this went down he immediately left the scene and i also left the scene because i was only with two other friends and we're in new york we don't know what's gonna happen and then on our way to the bus who do you think i see mr r d blocks comes approaching me bribing me with money with a new phone because I this. my phone had gotten cracked due to him throwing my bike uh he off they tried to give him a new bike they ended up giving me a, new him a new bike anyway let me not talk i think s he ended up giving him a new bike anyway for this and then he still dropped the camera new bikes whatever i wanted <laughs> as long as i was to delete the post i had made about him and if i was never to release the footage i'm clout chasing it shit like and i've been had my i've seen this too wait, oh, wait this, is the video. This, this is from that video been he could have been squashed he could have just been like you know what let me turn around let me go tell him i'm sorry you know Dude, I, I, I black bro bro what is up with this phone gang Yo, what did you get like what happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's read this. Already blocks creating false narrative to save his reputation. Um uh, Come to Philly D blocks watch what's gonna happen. What time is it? Niggas trying to say Rosati was speaking on dead man's and on top of that the route out was to honor his dead man's and niggas came to the city to hate and talk shit, so they got put in their place. <clears throat> yeah. Haha, <laughs> D Blocks was desperate. We was down bad then. We was down bad back then. No, nah, that's like a, Didn't say nothing. And, and then you, 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 you follow the kid. You try to link up with the kid. And why did? When I tell you that you're good, bro, you're good. You're good. Darnell ran. Darnell. Told him that you said something about Fat Boy. And Jimbo, and I'm like, again, how is it that Darnell was the only person who heard this? Exactly, yeah. Niggas ain't gonna sit there and just, there's like 30 of us. 30 of us ain't just gonna sit there and lie, my nigga. Yeah. I didn't even hear it. I didn't even hear it. Exactly. Why would you say it? He was not acting like this. He wasn't. Yeah. Once he got, once he got sponsored. Y'all could tell, and y'all could tell he really know, because y'all could hear it in his accent, where he from. <laughs> word word to my dick. Of course, at the time, I didn't even look at him. I was just like ignoring him as he's telling me all this. And he was definitely getting mad that I was ignoring him. Like, you could. Why you always got that look? Oh. But, like, he's not used to this. He's used to people acting in his favor and, you know, him having control over people. You see, when D-Blocks did this to me, he did not know I had a platform art. I dropped a 30-minute video with proof and evidence exposing him. And he definitely got a lot of backlash from people. And due to that, I was getting threats from just people all over New York and his friends. And Yeah, I ain't like D-Blocks because of that. You know what I'm saying? I still feel a little some type of way just because of, like, you know, how the, the way he carry himself. Hopefully that screen, that's a screen protector. Oh, no. Everyone really telling me, oh, you better take that down. And I didn't care because at that moment, the reason why I made that video was not to get clout as he claimed. Because if you compare that video to any other video I've dropped ever, that video is very like Damn, Gio, small, I'm like three mil? view count. Yo, Rosati, bro. Yo, Rosati. That's like what, four ads already? Gang, you just, <laughs> you getting paid, gang. Strongly. What is this? Uh, Oh my god.
compared to all my other videos. So that I did it for clout just can be thrown out the window. Your name is not that relevant, clearly. The reason why I made that video at the time is to possibly save somebody else or something like that happening to them. People were reaching out to me, telling me how D Blocks had done similar things to them, and it just blew my mind. I also never told my mom about the situation, which I honestly should have, but I didn't because I didn't want her to worry about me possibly, you know, getting hurt now when I go out of state. Like I didn't want my mom to worry at all. So at the time, I pretty much didn't have. Is this for? Versace? <laughs> Yo, he's getting any money. like adult guidance through the entire situation. It was just young Razad. As that always, for me, crazy. YouTube's always been my way of expressing myself, sharing information with my subscribers. So, so after this situation went down, SC did not kick RD Blocks off the team. Uh, I never got any type of apology from him. Zero, not even public. And actually, he did the complete opposite. He went online and told people that the reason why, reason why he pushed me off my bike was because I was talking shit about his dead friend like it just doesn't make sense and i already proved that in the video right here that y'all can go that to had, that and, like it just doesn't make sense he was out there just like dang like <laughs> like dang that's that's a lot for a live gang guilt like and then you, you know what I'm saying? i already I'm proved saying, that in the video right really here that y'all can go to i'm not gonna, gonna try to disprove that already because i already proved that what he said was a complete lie but the fact that this man not just come out and you know apologize and be like you know maybe i just tripped like at that moment like you know what i'm saying like maybe i just had a little like mental breakdown instead of him become being a man about the situation he decided to completely do the opposite and lie and tell everyone that he did that because i was talking about his dead friend and then he got all his friends around him to give into the line and it was just this huge thing until i dropped the video so that's just something to remember rd blocks literally one of sc bike sponsored riders the leader of the entire crew has already done that to me and he never got any consequences and it's very important to remember that because it will all add up at the end so 2019 i got into high school and i just started slowly i slowly stopped riding bikes as much i was just you know living that party lifestyle i just wanted to go out every weekend just turn up i was just being a dumbass teenager i would say from the end of 2018 till 2020 i was not riding bikes i was just you know doing high school so i was in the middle of my junior year of high school and i started to realize that i needed to take Yo, youtube take serious it. if i ever wanted to succeed in it so i was like you know i definitely got to get back on riding bikes i started to see you know like one way Corey's youtube channel doing good and i was like you know i definitely have an opportunity there to you know start grinding and start making videos again so i worked that boy rosati came back from his little break and that boy zay was around he ain't no zay he ain't know Zay was outside. That's when that boy was grinding that little, hold up, let's go back. This little period right here, that's when Zay started riding. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, I started riding, let's say, mm, like right here. So, you know what I'm saying? Rosati came back, he met Zay, you know what I'm saying? Not riding bikes, I was just YouTube serious. If, you know, like one way Corey's YouTube channel doing good. So I worked at a pizza shop washing dishes for about a year and I saved all that money up from washing dishes and invested it all into getting a new bike, getting a new camera, a new computer, new setup, everything. That entire year I was working, it was definitely hell, it was definitely miserable, but you know, I just had like this picture in mind, like I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to travel and make videos, so I just stuck to the grind. So I got an OM Dura with my friend Pat. When I came back, I started to realize a lot of things had changed. It went from everyone- Zay was outside, Zay was outside. Zay was outside for sure to learn new combos new tricks to now everyone is tagging sc bikes to get sponsored and at the time i didn't think much of it but as time went by i started to realize how dedicated bro ty looks just like somebody i know but i can't did people it were to join this team they created you see what todd lyon says is he had a dream and everyone knows d block i wanted to expand upon that i had this dream of having this big crew of riders and really bring them up you know kind of find these up-and-coming riders and you know from all across the country i'm really really excited that now yeah, kick -block. we have yeah. clones yo this nigga is a dick. yo they gotta kick d box off the team Bro. gotta get out of there is it just me or like you know what i'm saying like it's just me training them or like his crew. Todd Lyons gathered every sponsored rider from all over the country to California, and that gave everyone the hope that they could be the next one there. You see, once they started to see their favorite riders taking flights everywhere, getting free bikes, being in hotels. Let's see what we know here. That's this old votes chick. Then we got RRD Blocks. We got Lil Rye. We got BS Ball Out. One Way Jason. Um. Damien something. 
Um, Todd Little Lyons, right Tom Lyons' little back. daughter chick, child, <clears throat> I meant, uh, B.S. Dell, her rich bike life, um, else just to ride bike. That's all the community had to see to fully dedicate their life now to get sponsored. You see, the way Todd Lyons made it seem is as if these sponsored SC riders are just living this free mode lifestyle when the truth is very far from that. And I truly believe this is when bike life changed for the worst. Instead of people creating a new wave, it seemed like everyone was just trying to hop on one that was already moving. The truth is Todd Lyons knew this and he used it as an illusion to trick riders to keep promoting SC. He realized that every rider would now think that the only way to make it out riding bikes oh, is to get sponsored by SC bikes. But what is it? I can't hear it through Discord. You gotta show your audio. All right, my bad, y'all. Hold on, give me one second. But at the time, it seemed like Todd didn't even have any future plans for the crew. It seemed like they were there just to praise RD blocks, promote their new products as best <laughs> as they could, and it seemed like everyone's personality became just promoting SC bikes. It didn't even seem. They had a personality. It was just all talking about SC bikes, promoting SC bikes. It was just cringy, honestly. My feed went from people trying hard new tricks to now old random men promoting SC products. And <laughs> Your screen frozen on the John. Nah, it's no, not no, not on Twitch, on Discord. Most like the SC crew was a way to prove to everyone at your school that you've made it somehow. Like, oh, look at me, I'm sponsored by SC, proved you wrong, which never made any sense to me at all. But the odd thing was that SC was not really sponsoring the show. Oh, my god, Boogie talented people on Instagram. They were the thing was that SC was not really sponsoring the sharp, talented people on Instagram. They were sponsoring no cap, like my boy Boogie was out there. Really going crazy all day, every day. SC up and down the page. Sponsoring whoever. For what? Like, Boogie was like, Boogie, just Boogie, Boogie, that's my guy. That's gang. That's dog. That's homie for sure. But, like, dang, for real though, like, for what? SC proved you wrong, which never made any sense to me at all. But the odd thing was that SC was not really sponsoring the sharp, talented people on Instagram. They were sponsoring whoever could just sell themselves out to SC the best. They're looking for people that just will completely dedicate their life to just promoting SC. And you guys watching right now are seeing it real time. There's Yo, Rosati, you getting me, boy. You guys watching right now are seeing it real Time. There's parents out here sacrificing their kids' childhood just to possibly get sponsored by SC. And in reality, they get nothing in return at all. For me personally, I never... They might get a jersey or like... Or maybe like a shirt or um... Sometimes they give out grips and um... And stuff like that. Cared about getting sponsored by them. My goal was always to just make good content, just keep creating systems to where I can just level myself up. Fast forward to 2021 after the entire D Blocks incident, and I had came back. Now I was looking to travel and start going to California. I had seen that SC Bikes had made a ride out in LA. It was a three day ride out. Yo, this really made them mad. I ain't gonna lie. And I was very. What he's about to say, this about to make them mad. This, this, no, this is what he's about to explain. I remember this made them all mad. <laughs> Very interested in going. I posted on Yo, Manhattan Beach. Instagram to see how people would react if I went. And everyone was telling me, you know, to pop out. And I was definitely looking into going. But of course, to go to LA is very expensive. You got to know the right people. You got to have transportation. It's a lot of variables. I guess Todd Lyons had seen me, you know, post on Instagram that I was interested in going. And he went on a podcast and even talked about, you know, how I might be going to the ride out. Everyone's welcome. Come hang out. Go ride is your bike. Santa Claus? Have some fun. See stuff you've never seen. <laughs> Um, no. For no marketing reason other than, you know, to ride bikes with your friends that you have not maybe met yet. Yeah, no, it's going to be cool. I, I... What was that question? To ride bikes with your For no. Everyone's welcome. Come hang out. Go ride your bike. Talked about, you know, how I might be going to the ride out. Everyone's welcome. Come hang out. Go ride your bike. Have some fun. See stuff you've never seen. Um, for no marketing reason other than, you know, to ride bikes with your friends that you have not maybe met yet. Yeah, no, it's going to be cool. I actually, I got a message from uh, one of the bike life kids out in Philly, R R Rosati. I'm sure you've probably seen him. He does a video, a lot of video. He hit me up today. and said, hey, I, I, I'm down. I want to come there. I want to book hotels. I want to, uh, yeah, let me know. I was like, hey, let, let, let's talk next week. I'll know more, you know. Rosati's but, uh, a baller, dude. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but but yeah, we made just kind of random. And then we'll bring some of the crew. I'm actually thinking about doing a contest. Um, 
uh, I don't want to say what we're gonna do yet, but but a contest for the crew, the I SE crew riders, you know, and be like, hey, the top Real three shit. or whatever, four <laughs> that win this contest, Yo. you know, are gonna be, uh, you know, we'll fly out. People were sending me that podcast, you know, like, look, Ty Lyons was talking about you, and I was like, oh, you know, cool, like, all right. And then after the podcast, he had actually hit me up personally, and he called, he called me, giving me details about the ride, what I could expect if I went. And while we were talking on the phone, he told me like, yo, if you want to stay with us, you can just stay with the SC crew. We'll take care of everything. He told me pretty much I just got to book my flight, and once I land, it's good. SC's going to take care of it. I'll be able to kick it with the SC crew team. So... So Rosati, what you know, he's a, he's a young kid from or you know, kid in Philly. Um, yeah. He was supposed to come out, and and uh, Easy was supposed to come out from Miami. Yeah. And they were actually going to stay in the you know, I, 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 yeah, they were going to stay in the hotel with us. Like I, 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 we had room for them. How cool, you know, just thinking of those two guys. Hey, yo, so Easy's part of the SC crew too, right? 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 So I just love riding in that. Like, oh man, I'm gonna be able to take a picture. They're gonna be able to see the Hollywood sign. Wait, Easy not a part of the SC crew no more. He left. When? I swear he left. Rosati, didn't he leave? No, somebody in my chat just said, nah, he left before all of this. Nah. Yeah, Dang. yeah, I told you. Yeah, he left. Smart man. Or he's up here Santa Monica, you know. So anyway, so that's, yeah. Yeah, Ad, this, yo, that's Mara more said part of this ride. And when he told oh, yeah, Martin. Martin. Hold on, I'm going to add Martin to my IG live, y'all. Y'all not going to be able to hear him. Yo, Martin, you got, wait, I'm going I'm to ask him once he gets in here. Wait, hold up. Let's take a little intermission. Let's go to my face cam. Ugh. How y'all feeling about this vid right now, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't really get to the part where I feel like he about to build it up all the way to that one point, and then he going, he going to, like, like, he got me reeled into the max right now. Yo, Martin, join so we can get your Discord. Definitely got to Martin there. Definitely. Okay. Tap in Martin so we can. Seven one seven bike life was good. That's the OG That's right good, there, yo. Zay. What's up? I know seven one seven gang. Um, W Rosati. All I gotta say, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me more. Everybody in the chat, tell me how y'all feeling about this video right now. Y'all don't gotta say too much. Not letting me. Definitely request, is W. You, tell me how y'all feeling about the video. I mean, it just Rosati just speaking from his um. Point of view right now, he's telling us everything, um, how he saw it. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no complaints. I don't got no. Oh, all right. Martin. You, Yo, got, you got Discord or God. what? Yeah. All right. What's your Discord? I'm going to add you on that shit. Y'all, if y'all know one way, Martin, he's about to join up on the. Um, I just fell out, old motherfucker. On the stream. I ain't going to lie in that interview. Ty was bluffing from the jump. <laughs> oh, wait. From I got you added on here, don't I? Jimmy, I got Jimmy. I don't got you. Wait, what's your what's your uh? I don't know. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah. My fault, y'all. Hashtag ten ninety seven. No result fam. Oh, it says all over favorite. My fault, y'all, but we taking a little intermission. We about to have one way Martin join. You said ten ninety seven? Yeah. Popping up. Hold up. I need space. Martin, send it send it on Insta chat. Rosati don't got no cap in his rap, I feel like. Yo, That's Zay. what I'm saying. Most of the stuff Yo, I've heard, like, uh, heard about. Huh? L look at it. Show him, Mari. Come on, Wayne Martin. Hashtag. Dang, this is what I typed in. 1097. All right, let me try to add you as a friend. Maybe I'll do that first. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Can't seem to find what you're looking for. One way, Martin. Hashtag 1097. I don't know. Alright. 1097. Yeah, I can't even see yours neither. Wait. 
Chandler, if I make you a mod, can you just do this while I like? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you in my Discord, right? Yo, I just yo, um, Martin, I just added you. All right, bet. There's no hezzy T. Turn you for good. growth happens every day. Hopefully, for all right, y'all. We flight. finna get back to the video. Um, Eagle with Martin coming here. We are gonna say what's up with Martin. We're not playing nothing, man. We reacting to playing. Rosati news newest uh video right now, on on Twitch. His new video. He he said he exposed S. I'm about to send. I'm about to send to you. Well, I'm about to. You. We trying we trying to get Martin in the Discord right now so he could be he could be up in here. But, um, I just invited you, Martin. Okay. My fault, y'all. Stick around, stick around. That shit, yeah, it definitely is crazy. I'm gonna get right back to this. I just watched it. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. This is my first time. I'm I'm at 1551. If you go to my if you go to my IG store, you can watch it with us right now. You can watch it again if you want. All right, there you go. Here, right there. Are you in here? Hello, hello. Yo, yo, yo. All right, bet, bet, bet. All right, y'all. Say what's all right, Martin. Say what's up to everybody. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's one way, Martin. If you aren't already following me on the gram, go get me to 15k. You're. Yes, sir. All right. All right, yeah, we about to get back into the bit. All right, this part of it says Todd Lyons tried to bury the D Block video. All right. Me that I was definitely excited because I'd never gone to LA before. My dream had always been to go to California, especially Los Angeles. I was mostly more excited to make YouTube videos out there because I've always wanted to. But then after we hopped off the phone, he texted me telling me something pretty different. He forgot to mention I'd like you to take down that video of the D Blocks incident. Yo, he did not say hey. I forgot to mention. Wait. Wait. Hey, forgot to mention, I like you to I take like that, video, take that down video down of the D Blocks incident. How do you forget? It's messed up, definitely. To mention that. Like, what? Nah, wait till. Just wait. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. That served this purpose two years ago. Now it just damages the SC brand. So that's the deal. Remove the video and you're cool to come out and stay with it. Yo, that was a deal. He made it. What the. Yo! <laughs> Uh, Bro, uh, this is a grown man. He trying. Hold on. Somebody said Peter. <laughs> All uh, out of emojis. <laughs> Yo. Nah, keep watching. Keep watching. Wait, this. hold on. Like, he did not say. He said that video served its purpose over two years ago. Now it just damages the SC brand. Nah, but if you if you. What do you mean that's a deal? Like, huh? You gonna make a that's that a, a deal to come to LA for three days? Type shit? Yes. And then I texted him back pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, bro. Alex goes crazy. crazy. Oh, yeah. but of course, as always, he never texts me back. After that. Crazy. He just left it how it was. I did agree to the deal. I said, you know, nah, as he read it. As always. I thought he was gonna read it. I don't know if Steezy told, told you, but that is but happened that a while ago. A while it's ago. old news it's to old me. News to like, me. like. like I'm not bothered by it. I just had turned 16 when that happened. I matured a lot. Martin, can you hear me? I can't read like this. Yeah, I got you. I was gonna, I was gonna say it, bro. I was gonna. All right. I matured a lot, but what really hurt me more than anything. No, no, no. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. Just mute yourself real quick. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Wait. Mute yourself on Discord. Testing, testing, testing. All right. I don't know if Steezy told you. But that is happened a while ago, and it's old news to me. Like, I'm not bothered by it. I did just turned 16 when that happened, and I've matured a lot. But what really hurt me more than anything was the lying part about me talking about his dead friends, which that's not which that's not me as a person. I feel like everyone was after Rosati. Like, everyone was after Rosati, something that's been my life and my grind since I was 12. Only reason I made that, that video sense. because I had to defend myself and the Rosati name. And like I said, it doesn't bother me that all of the, it doesn't bother me at all. At the end of the day, love always wins. That's why. That's why I got a tat. That's why I got a tattoo of me. That's why I got a tattoo of me. I just took the video down. I don't got. I don't got time for grudges and stuff. 
all positive vibes on this side. I feel like if people really sat down and talked to me, they would get to know me better and just they would get to know me better and know I'm just trying to get I'm just I'm just trying to get to the point. <laughs> I can tell my mom I, I'm just trying to get to the point where I can tell my mom she doesn't have to worry about rent again. At the end of the day, and <clears throat> help as many people as I can. Okay, Rosati. That took me a little second. But <laughs> Rosati for Mayor 2023 <laughs> Bike Life. Yo, scammer gets scammed. <laughs> Big Walmart bike TTO. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Martin is too loud, loud and Echo. <laughs> Rosati phone was about to die after that paragraph, bro. I swear to God, yo, real rap, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, never text me back, back after that. He just left it how it was. I did agree to the deal. I said, you know, as he's going, wait, hold up. Let's just go back at that, bro. He sent that message to a 16 year old kid, bro, and that's supposed to be like everybody, like you know, what I'm saying, like people look up to the company, they're supposed to look up to the boy. So like anybody else. Would have done what Rosati did, and well, they probably would not have uh, been smart about it and archived the video like Rosati did. But they probably would have actually deleted the video and went out there and did whatever, you know what I'm saying, Ty wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't find that very cool because it's like that's like taking advantage of people and stuff. But um, Rosati was smart for, for archiving the video, posting it back up later. And yeah, I don't he's like never that, that on red. It's me back after that. He just left it how it was. I did agree to the deal. I said, you know, since SC's going pretty much. Things to remember, Todd Lyons made a deal with Rosati that if he deleted the video of his sponsor, SE Bikes Rider, R.R.D. Blocks, assaulting him when he was a kid, he would fly him out to Los Angeles and kick it. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, SC, this is a bad look, gang. Oh, this is a bad look, gang. This is bad. This is like... This is bad. Me to California. I don't really care about this video. I've always been an analytical person since a little kid, and the way I looked at it was, I'm gonna just take this video down of D Blocks. It got like 20,000 views. I have videos that have done way better than this. If that means if I can just take this down to be able to make even better videos, all right, let it be it. Yo, Rosati. Yo, you is getting to the bag on me right now, gang. I've had at least an ass. <laughs> Music can be. You gotta get a boo out of there. No, if they kick D blocks, I'm not gonna lie, left. Like I would, like, <laughs> I wouldn't be happy or sad, but I would. Yo, I yo, I ain't gonna lie, no, no, no. I want, I want to hear, I want to hear y'all opinion on this. Y'all think that uh, that one Instagram page shit bike post? Y'all think mm -hmm. they really, they really came in clutch with that little, that little video that they posted? Yo, let me go to that. Let me actually go to that because that's the only video. Nah, that I saw shit is it, it's gone. It, it's done. It's oh, gone. it's not up there no more. I wait. I'm about to. You want me to send? Yeah, I'm about. To, hold on, Zay. I'm about to send you. I'm about. To, I'm about to. I'm about, to, I'm about to send it to you. I'm about to send it to you. Yeah, send it to me. I'm going to show it because that's that D Blocks is a fat shrimp. <laughs> Yo, that is the only uh part that I saw. Like, I don't know if y'all know. Oh. Zay, why you got why you got the red light? Yo, I don't know if y'all know, but I did go to Miami. Like, when all of this was going down, I was out there. I was in Miami. And like Well wait, Martin, why you got the red light on? You know what I'm saying? I was in Miami. I'm like, dang. What's going on? But I just I, the only thing I had saw before I got on the plane was Rosati's video that they're talking about that they say is deleted now. So, well, not Rosati's video. Um, it was a video of Rosati's story and uh Frank's story. Yo, I sent it to you, Zay. On IG. All right, bet, 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 bet. This is what I saw. Y'all ready? All right, look. This is the only thing I saw before I went to Miami. MLK was litty. Uh, what would you do if D Blocks breaks in your crib? I a, I ain't even see stories the whole time. I was just cutting, but that's what I'm saying. I it was just my Instagram was going so crazy, and everybody was reposting this. Everybody had, you know what I'm saying. Everybody had their own little things to say. Everybody's stories was crazy, but um yeah, let's watch this. This this just real quick like. Oh wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Yo, this is not the one I'm talking about. Uh, this is crazy though, but this is not the one I'm talking about. Nah, um, but that video is crazy. That video is. Crazy, I didn't really watch Paul. this one either. Wait, what video are you looking for? What video are you looking for? 
No, I was just talking about the one where uh, Rosati and Frank was like basically talking to each other through their stories, and then Ship Bikes post put it into one video. That's fine. No, I don't need it. I watch this stuff. Oh, uh, he's gonna show it. He's gonna show it. Dang, that's crazy. Came for his neck. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's get back into the vid. Fast forward about three months, I never heard anything from Todd, any updates, any like hotel confirmation, like anything. Even though I took the video down, I never heard anything, so I contacted him because, you know, the trip was coming up. I asked him if the deal was still on. Yo, Todd, hope you're having a good day, just wondering if that offer for this. Hey, dude, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to work out this time. You are more than welcome to come out to the ride. Just link up with three other dudes. And split the hotel 25% each person. Boom. What? Bro, it's no way that he offered you to come out to Cali and then try to tell you other ways that you could go out there. Like, clearly, you could have did this on your own if you wanted to. But if somebody offers you a whole trip saying, hey, you could come out. Like, like how do you go back on it and say, just split it with three, uh, like, three guys? Like, oh, clearly he could have did that. What the hell? And he's 16. How old is he? This is 2021. He's a, he's, he's a kid. He, he's not 21. He can't get a hotel. It's a bunch of stuff that's just, you know what I'm saying, that don't add up. But that's kind of crazy. Like, somebody sent me this message. I'm never talking to you again, ever. SoCal ride still on. He then texted me back saying, hey, dude, I don't think it's going to work out this time. You're more than welcome to come out to the ride. Just link up with three other dudes and split the hotel room. 25% each person, boom. Yeah, Todd, let me just find three other friends. Exactly like what, like... Have a thousand dollars laying around to go to California and that aren't going to school. He knew exactly what he did doing this. I was definitely bummed and mad that Todd Lyons had just fooled me into thinking I was about to go to California. But overall, I was like, damn, like I told a lot of people I was going. I hyped it up on Instagram. And now this man is telling me that, oh, we can't help you out. After I took the- Wait, is this why he made his own ride out there? Yo, Eddie, what's good, gang? Is this why he made his own ride out there? Right. Deal down, like we literally had a deal and he did not stand on it. The thing that Todd Lyons did not know is that I only made the video private. I did not delete it. So exactly, I remember he told me that. Right when I seen that text, I instantly put it back up because he didn't hold his end of the deal. Luckily, I had found some people that were also going to the ride out and I got some help to go out there. This was my first time also making merch to travel with. So I brought some chest bags to sell out there. Once I see us. Yo, Rosati. You is making money off of me right now. Once I got to the ride out, it was definitely some cool vibes. I just love this. Hey, that's Jay Miles right there. Right? In LA, the people there were super nice. I definitely seen some people I already knew, so I definitely caught a vibe. There was definitely something that caught my eye that seemed very fishy. You see, this ride was used to promote the new SC bikes mm -hmm. and I mean fans collab. And when Todd Lyons had texted me telling me to take down the RD block. Those ads are worth it, man. Nah, no cap. Yo, keep counting the ads too. That's that's uh, ads worth it. I ain't gonna lie. Keep Rosati watching. gotta be a uh, detective. That Say it again. Rosati, he gotta be a detective. Hello, yeah. how are you? Video. Okay. You give me Rosati might be well working for the feds now. Bro. And when Todd Lyons had texted me telling me to take down the RD Blocks video, the collab had not been announced yet. So I. Mm, so they told him take the video down because. See, look, I'm cooking before he rose up. Let me started to you. add everything up, up, and I realized that the you only reason you. Todd had texted me to take the video down and to come to California because he did not want this video of his sponsored rider assaulting a kid floating around. Also, considering the fact that D Blocks was about to be in every mall in America, pretty much, they had commercials with vans and everything. Of course, Todd Lyons didn't want the world to see this video. So at that moment, I realized what Todd had done. He literally had used me to just save SC. So in order to have some revenue for the ride out i brought some merch and it was chest bags at that time you have to remember that the sc crew is all below our d block you can sign to could have been wheelie records they must do and believe anything he says he's the one in charge of the crew their command he did not make it an illuminati symbol yo this guy is hilarious 
SE Bikes, Bike Co. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. They want to have full control of what you think and what you say. And if you don't fit that description, then you're just simply not made for the team. SE gives free bikes. Yeah, sure. But at what cost? I can never talk bad about any possible part on the bike in a non-biased way. I can never share my true insights on how the product could be better for wheelies. And we can see this as an example with the SC Bikes Fast Stripper. SC knew that kids were going to be beating on this bike, wheeling on it, but yet they promoted it. Why? It looks so good right there, though. Yo, why the Fast Stripper looks so fire right here? What'd you say? Stay safe, yo. I'm about to hop out this zone, yo. All right, bet. Be safe, gang. Be safe, gang. All right, yo. All right. Zay, follow me back. Zay, I got some extra... Martin, what tricks you learning? As this new wheelie bike. Kids all over the country bought the bike for about thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars. Literally one week later, most of them just couldn't ride the bike because the axle was so weak that it just couldn't stand the weight. You see, SE does this very often. They be having these little problems with their bikes, but they never tell the people. I knew so many friends that had saved up money and grinded for months just to buy this bike. And just for this bike to break in a week is just unbelievable. And what really shocked me was that I seen no responses from the SC crew at all. Nobody had made any posts. I, what they say, it dev looks hella fire. Yo, no cap. But you know what they say though? They say you're not supposed to put pegs on it. That's what they say. That's their answer. They say just don't put no pegs on it and you'll be fine. <laughs> the whole time, everybody rides that bike with pegs, bro. Nobody rides that bike without pegs. To get SC to fix the problem, it almost seemed like SC wanted to keep this a secret. And I got a fast ripper, and it happened to me. Luckily, I was able to find somebody locally to help my problem, but I knew other people just didn't have the resources I did. But as always, the SC crew was told not to speak out about the product problem and just keep everyone in the dark. At that moment, I realized that most of the crew riders are just a puppet for SC. They'll never share their Yo! true insights on products. They'll never keep it real with their followers on how they really feel about things. So I knew that no one was gonna speak out about it. So when I see Todd, I confronted him about it. Just one more question. Any updates on the faster brag? So it's like, I'm on yeah, my third yeah, one. I'm so on my third one. I hate to be the guy, yeah. Todd, but, yeah, they're, but the they're, people I mean, want to know. Yeah, they're chrome. I mean, they're chrome. I've told the vendor, you're the hub vendor, you know, be like, yo, hey, make them as strong as you can. Yo, it's good, bro. You know, I, we're talking with a different hub vendor, you know, to yeah. make, make different axles, but it, I mean, I, yeah. But shit, Todd, thank but, you for hey, coming, you know, bro. We don't, the, we don't put pegs on, we don't put pegs on the fast river, but we kind of know. I saw one with Jason with the pegs. I felt inspired. I was like, you mean I got to get on the fast? As you guys can see he pretty much just said a whole lot of nothing he knows that sc has That's the money to improve these you. products and make but you can't hear i think hear it's you, you. is it you can you hear me now I hear you now, yeah. Part stronger, but at the same time, they're aware that people would just keep buying the, the same way bike and just color is fire. I know, right? Like he really, this guy is smart. We breaking it the same way it's just a constant cycle the amount of resources and power sc has over bike life is unbelievable but yet they choose not to use it they have the resources to build systems to help these riders reach new levels but their only concern is to sell more products every year the sc crew is the reason why sc bikes is as strong as they are right now so it's very sad to see them just get a return of nothing you see the point that i'm trying to make with this video is that the sc crew sponsorship really means nothing yeah, and the fact that people are over here dedicating hours of their what? This is the, uh, he said the reason uh, all my jackets changed the colors to represent each time period. That's definitely that's oh, definitely smart. Shit. That's smart. I didn't that's smart. That that's the W. I did not peep that. Day just to possibly get a post from SC. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I feel as if there's enough data yo, on the Mikey table types? for anyone to analyze and just be able to tell and just say like, yo, this is some BS. This company's taking advantage of riders for their followers. Most you'll get from being a sponsored rider is probably getting flown out like twice a year, maybe some significant brand deal, and you might get like two or three bikes. That's really it. So once you know that, wouldn't you tell yourself like, yo, like I'm worth more than just two free bikes? Like, sure, you guys can give me free bikes but can you not put some food on the table like when my mom is hungry yo what is this ad 30 what am I supposed to tell her? Like, yeah, let's just heat up this bike on the oven. It's just truly sad to see people just get a free bike and now they've dedicated their entire life to this brand. Instead of figuring out how they can, how they can better their own selves and create better content to reach new levels.
to the system how they can, how they can better their own selves and create better content to reach new levels you see the system they've created is they're going to give a free bike to an upcoming rider so they stay locked in and emotionally attached to the brand they realize that giving a free bike to somebody that just doesn't have the money to get one the level of loyalty they will show your brand is next level and they just use that to their advantage these bikes mean nothing to them they just make these for super cheap it's just honestly chinese parts but they've just programmed the entire community into thinking of s he posts you if se likes your picture you're next to get sponsored you're gonna get flown out it's just all a load of bs everything se does and posts is all just to keep you riding an se and this is the illusion that top let me show you something was, uh, you bought me a serum bro you said rosani buy me a serum no cap after all this ad revenue <laughs> no that's all i'm saying these that ad revenue is great definitely got to buy me a serum i'm gonna just show you something real quick Turkeys. Who's that? SC bikes. Oh, they follow back? They have follow back? Lines has created. The truth of the matter is nobody oh, in Bike has a Huh? They have True control over the products we ride. None of these bikes that we ride are made for what we specifically do. If you look into it, Bike Life is mostly ran by BMX riders that just came into our community to make some money. They act like they're in Bike Life, they tell the riders they're gonna sponsor them, but everything is just a marketing strategy to increase their sales. This will keep happening for years until riders really wake up and realize what's happening. I hope that everyone watching this realizes that the only way Bike Life will evolve is up to us. The real riders that ride every day, that dedicate hours to the sport. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the thing that people don't understand, right? Like, what we want to do is we want to turn this into an actual legitimized sport. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, the way that we could do that, you know what I'm saying, is to just stand our ground, stay firm on what we what we believe in, and just, um, what is it? Like, just keep, like not like, not accept anything that doesn't, like, Zero. No, that doesn't like um, that isn't like. What is the word? What did he just say? And realize what's happening. I hope that everyone watching this realizes that the only way bike life will evolve is up to us. The real riders that ride every day, that dedicate hours to the sport, and it's up to us to create new ideas and concepts to level up bike life. Now that you have an idea on how. I can't think of what I was saying. It, it, it floated. It no, floated to off, really, like... to really, to really have the. Theme, you mean? We really just gotta. No, we gotta have the same. We gotta have the same, like gotta have the same vibe we had three years ago. No, hell no. I feel like, like if everybody in bike life. What? Right now, everybody with all the pull that we have right now, bro. If we didn't work, if we didn't, if we didn't do nothing for free for nobody right now, like for like, well, not for no certain amount of time, but if we just only accepted like certain stuff, like the whole community say, hey, look, nobody accept nothing under this right here. We would, we would all, we would all get like, we would all evolve like more because we're none of us are on the same page. Like, if if somebody can't um pay to get me to do something, they're gonna pay to get someone. That, they're not even gonna pay. They're gonna get someone to do it for free because um they might not be as good, but it's free and it's the same con. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. SC crew operates and the role they play in the community. I can now dig a little deeper into my most re. Basically, people just be. Like it brings our value down, bro. When people like do little stuff, like it brings our value. It brings our value down for sure. In situation with one wheel Frank sponsored SC bikes ride, who also happens to be managed by R D Blocks, the same person that assaulted me when I was a kid. December 2022, former SC sponsored rider One Way Jason announced that he is no longer affiliated with SC Bike. This was a shock for the entire community because Jason had been posting for years. No cap. Is showing his appreciation to SC and how they had changed his life for the better. So it was just very strange to see him just come out saying he was done with SC. But then come to find out SC Bikes had informed their riders that nobody would be making any money for the entire... Huh? Year, year, they were the whole year? Wait, huh? They, they, um... They did not get po uh, money whole year. No money. Limited flight, free bike, no money for a ride. Okay. 
going to cut down on flights and cut down on giving free bikes. They made an entire list of demands they wanted from every single sponsored rider. They wanted like seven Instagram posts like a week or something. They were told that they had seven a week. That's one a day. Keep everything positive on social media, which That's obviously Mr. Frank did not do. So it just. I don't do no internet beef whenever you see me. Oh, wait, he said keep everything positive on social media which obviously mr frank did not do so it just seemed like the crew overall was just starting the year off on a horrible note and then we seen steezy films leave the crew which definitely was like damn like steezy really see, like the I'm not gonna lie, i didn't even see steezy leave but like i just thought about that like i remember like when did he get put into the se crew i feel like i was there it was in florida it was down florida they, uh... i wasn't there yeah, when 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 they when they gave him a bike, they gave was him it twenty twenty one? That's all I remember. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around. There. I might have been there. I don't know. I don't remember. Was wasn't the MLK? Twenty twenty one. Yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, yeah, it was it was, was MLK. There. Dang, okay. The content he was making was unbelievable, just sharing their products. So the fact that, you know, somebody like him had to leave was just very upsetting because I knew he put in a and everybody loves Steezy. Like, that's gang like Everybody love gang like out of work. After this, we started to see Jason post on Instagram expressing how he felt about the situation. Now I want to make this clear that I have no intel on what happened with Jason or SC. I do not know how Jason. Let me read this. Just kicked off. One way Jason posts. I ain't even stressed. Stress. I, 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 I feel like I read this the day it happened, but I ain't even stressing. I got I kicked off the I team. But how the freak everyone? How the freak out of everyone? Me. They done lost their top five rider on that team. The fact, the fact I told the mf -er what I was going through, then a week later it kicked me crazy. You won't ever catch me promoting that brand. I done made them over a couple hundred K easy these past eight years to get paid $300 a month. Dang. Yeah. Brand yourself. brands a month. don't get yeah. AF about you. Do YouTube. Make your own merch. If you're trying to get paid off your talents, I swear to God that sponsorship ish ain't it. You can unfollow me, block me. I don't give a f, man. If you're not rocking with me because of a bike brand, you're a freaking weirdo. And y'all ain't gonna lie, I love one way Jason. That's my guy. But let's after saying that, let's keep going. Was as a sponsored SC rider, but what I can tell you is that Jason was fully dedicated to the brand. He would always post on Instagram, and overall, he was one of my favorite riders. But once Jason publicly came out telling everyone how much the most SC riders make is three hundred dollars, it seemed like everyone in the crew was very bothered by this, and they did not want the public to know this. And the fact that it came from Jason just verified it's true. February eleventh, twenty twenty-two, Todd Lyons had texted me asking if I wanted a free bike. Of course, as always, I was very appreciative, and I said yeah of course i told him i wanted this one bike and specifically the killer quad i had only seen teaser yeah, why is this todd's favorite emoji though like like somebody explain this like why is this his favorite emoji pictures of it and he told me that if, if i wanted that out <laughs> no, really. that's all them little win. posts no nah, his little post was little nah, i haven't been, been seeing i haven't been seeing this dude for a long time Nah, people be sharing the day till the end of the year. I had no problem. It was a year ago, man. No, you feel, I said it is 2020-23, so you know, you can't really be. You mean? True. With waiting since yeah, I had just yo, gotten my face. Why phone always about to die, yeah? Rosati, right? Like, he always talking to Tom. Yeah. Walk for a Ripper, which I was going to use for the FaZe Clan recruitment challenge. January 2023, I texted Todd asking if the Killer Quad would arrive before MLK because I just wanted to start the year off, you know, posting a brand new bike, making a review when I was down Miami on it. You know, just starting the year off with a brand new bike that I've been in 2023 waiting for over a year. He texted me back saying that, yeah, the bike should arrive before MLK, and I was very excited. So, so before I left for my trip, obviously, there's a couple things I have to change so I'm comfortable on the bike, including the bars and the grips. So as I'm swapping out the bars i was thinking like hmm let me show my followers you know a hint onto what bike i may have so as i was about to remove the sc grips which obviously i am cutting off because i will never use i filmed the video somebody said i'm not gonna lie i thought ty wasn't gonna send the bike and go suicide <laughs>
I mean, cutting the SD grips off, and I was like, yo, <laughs> I look, like, this is what you gotta do with grips. Anyone that watches my videos and just follows me overall knows that this is a joke. The way I just made that video is clearly a joke. Anyone with their right mind can tell it's a joke. I can also assure that anyone that has had stock SD grips know how bad they are and that you should just cut them off when you get the bite. All right, guys, if you ever get your hands on new SD grips, this is what you do. All right, so you grab your knife, and then you just want to put it right there. Just cut this joint up, cause these are. Yo, I saw this too. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nobody, yo, nobody wants to use uh, stock SC grips. Like, bro, they they're trash, bro. You sweat and you die. You sweat, your hands sweat and you die, bro. You will die. I'm surprised old dude stuck to his promise. <laughs> Trash. But my goal was to show my subscribers a hint onto what bike I may be revealing soon. Because in the video, you can see it has a shifter, also the hydraulic brakes. So, you know, maybe people can put two and two together. Then someone sent the story to Todd Lyons telling him that I was making fun of SC bikes when that was not the case at all. So I was just sitting around and then I see my phone goes off and it's a text from Todd Lyons telling me on Instagram to take it down. And at first I ignored it because I thought like, bro, there's no way. Yo, delete that story about the grips. Yo, why? Why does it sound like he's trying to be a little, a little gangster in this? Like, and it's through, through the text. Yo, delete that story about the grips. <laughs> That's how I just read that. I ain't gonna lie. SC grips hurt. <laughs> Yo, nah. Mr. Todd Lyons is telling me to take this down. The reason why I thought he was joking. Yo, LTR Marco was good, gang. First is because this is coming from the man that has posted stuff like this. So he. Whoa! Wait, anybody know the color code of these grips? But for but for reals, believe it or not, I used to run. Wait, why did? Whoa, Whoa that emoji is Whoa. crazy. That's what I'm that saying. That emoji like... is crazy. But for reals, believe it or not, I used to run these ODI BMX Tech 7 grips in my early 90s, and they felt good. Don't hate. This is cr like, wh like, why just delete your story about my shitty grips? <laughs> yo, yo, read the comments. It said, it said 2 and one for some reason. Like, uh, there I bet. Yeah. This is because this is coming from the man that has posted stuff like See you, gang. I ain't gonna lie, that I'm right there was trouble. crazy. I gotta dip now before any of my followers slide in here. <laughs> yeah. So he can. What it say? Two, two and one for some ladies. Oh wow. Vegas pedal blocks. Wow. Post this, but me posting a video of me cutting grips is a problem yeah. <laughs> that makes no sense. So I just ignored it because I thought he was joking. But then he texts me saying, "I send you this eleven hundred dollars." What the hell? That. Bullshit ass bike. It's like, nah. <laughs> Yo, Daddy! <laughs> Talk to me, boy. How many ads, boy? Dollar bike, and you post this WTF. And then I. Why right, is he upset? Like, he sent them a whole screenshot, too. Like, <laughs> like he didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> it didn't come across that way. Please delete it. What the hell? Like, he don't own your whole. Like, Todd booty tickled. Oh my god. He replied telling him it was a joke. Like, I still didn't think it was that serious. But then he tries to command me <laughs> to take it down. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, has this man lost his mind? Like, at that point, I'm like, bro. Like, like, or like, that's where I'm with you. Like, hold on, let me turn, let me make my face game a little bit bigger because I feel like it might be a little small right now. Like, hold on, like, like, hold on. He, like, why he. Like, what make him think he could just talk to you like, you like that? Like, he owns your IG and stuff, like, whole time. He don't own your, your IG, you know what I'm saying? You don't do that. All right. Here we go. Let's make this a little bigger. Now, that's a little odd, though. I ain't going to lie. We got 20 people like in here. That's a lot of why does everyone hey, just try to control like what I post or say? Like, I don't have a contract with SC. They just sent this bike to show love. Like, we didn't make any agreements. Todd, just because you're used to controlling your sponsored riders does not mean you have the right to even try to control others. I removed the text because I was not taking it down. Like, I was just not going to ah, at this real, random he old man. That one. He wowed for, he wowed for DM me like that. Exactly. Like, who? Like, what? Like, huh? 
Rosati, you gotta make a diss on him looking. Yo, I hop on that. Yo, Rosati, what's good, gang? We could, you know, yo, Rosati already know about. Rosati already know a little much. Like, we could really make a song, bro. He never responds to you. He thinks he could buy. It. Yo, Rosati, what's up? You wanna make a? We could hop in the stew, bro. We could get that. We could get that song uh, up and going. I'll let you hop on. How you feel about that, Rosati? How you feel about that, Rosati? I'll let you feature in my song. How you feel about that? Yo, Rosati, should I drop the song, man? Should I let them hear it? Should I let them hear it, man, or what? Like, like, come on, talk to me. Talk to me, Rosati. Yes. Laugh my ass off. I already had some cooked up. But that's but that's the weapon, but we'll use it if necessary. Bro. <laughs> Yo, no cap. You know you know the vibes, man. Hit me up. We can hop in the stew today. I removed the text because I was not taking it down. Like I was just not gonna let this random old man try to tell me what I can and can't <laughs> post. He then texted me the next morning, which really shows this was on his mind all night, telling me why didn't I delete that. He told me that it was pretty disrespectful. And at that point, I replied to him with this paragraph: "Who are you to try to manage my social media? If anything is disrespectful for you to reach out to me, Todd, just because you didn't get a joke doesn't mean people have to take it down." Everyone that saw that story knew it was a joke. I knew he wouldn't okay, be saying this to other creators. With yeah, the same platform that I have, you see, Todd Lines is a professional. He everybody understands knows, that it. Everybody knows SC Bikes grips are shit. They're trash. They're terrible. They're not good. I wasn't stating a lie or something that was not obvious. That would be funny as hell. Now me and Rosati make a diss track. I just don't really have no beef with them anymore, so it would be like kind of late. You want people to only talk good about your product, that comes with a price. And even then, for me, I don't sell out for that. I keep it real with my subscribers. I'm not just gonna sit here and talk about only the good about these bikes. Like, obviously, they have some flaws, and it's very important for you guys to know about them. Even though he had texted me this, I was still planning to go to Miami, make a full review on the bike, you know, post saying thank you on Instagram for the bike. So then, boom, I pack all my stuff, and here I am heading to Miami. Hey, that's my boy CJ, I think. That's CJ right now? me to get away from the cold in philly i get to miami the first day i'm there you know i just had a nice day seeing all the palm trees you know catching the vibes being in the back of the pickup truck you know i'm just excited to start this mlk weekend but while i'm at the meet i'm getting all these phone calls and text messages from people telling me like yo you seen what one wheel frank posted and at first i'm like bro what are y'all talking about i was Wait a minute. That's why Frank was mad because Rosati posted about the grips. Very confused. Come on, brother. Because I haven't talked to One Wheel Frank maybe like five months. Whenever the last ride out I seen him, I can't even remember. I can promise you guys I probably have the most like five minutes I've talked to this man. It's very important for y'all to understand I have very little communication with him. I've barely spoken to him. The story gets shared to me, but I can't see it. It just says story unavailable. So And he blocked you when he posted it? Blocked you from his story? Yeah, this is over some freaking grips. Dog, it's getting to the good part. <laughs> Yo. And somebody said, I feel like Todd just, changed, just chooses the colors of the bikes. At that point, I think bro. people are trolling, just trying to start some random drama. And I get a screenshot of his story saying this. I don't do no internet beef, but whenever you... Yo, why did he put the NBA Young Boys out? Wow. See me, you see me. When I see Rosati, it's up. I don't forget nothing. Y'all ain't gangsta, y'all telling lies. When I seen this, I'm like, y'all ain't gangsta, y'all telling lies. I'm confused because if you watch my channel, I've never claimed to be any type of gangsta. I'm just being myself and I can confidently say that. But One Wheel Frank, on the other hand, he portrays on Instagram to be like this NBA Young... Hold up, keep it a bean though. Keep it a bean. Keep it a whole hundred thousand. Frank dripping right here, gang. He dripping. He's dripped down to the socks right here. Bro, Frank tried too hard. Bro, tell me he not dripping right here. Rosati smiling. No, he's going to put young boy on. NBA, <laughs> one boy head ass. Yo, chill. Yo, tell me he not dripping though. 
boy wanna be. But once I seen him post that, I knew that this was just some imaginary beef he had created. And if Frank what you, what you wanna be, but once I seen him post that, I knew I that this was just some imaginary beef he had created. And if Frank is seeing this, I will pay him money to show the people any type of evidence to where I might have had said something about him or anything mm. even close to that because there's none. This is all in his head. Even if I and even if I did say something, you're a professional sponsored rider. You should know how to control yourself, whether people say good or bad things about you. So once I seen that story, I kind of just laugh guys because i'm not gonna lie to you i've been in a lot more scarier situations in philly way worse than some Girl, nba God. young boy try hard wannabe try todd might as well come out with a rainbow and i might as well buy it to be honest i feel like they did didn't they like hold on let me find a picture of the rainbow sc bike real quick just i can put it wait let me i can do it on my laptop I think he already did. I think he beat you to that. Um, load? There we go. Here it is right here, y'all. Here it is right here. They already did that. It's rainbow right here. I mean... What else would you want from them? All right, let's get back to it. To press me or post some type of threats on Instagram. Obviously, he's trying to live this NBA young boy life. What you mean? He did already. They were fire. Of course, he, of course, they did. Really. Ew, fruity, fruity. Rainbow, unicorn, unicorn. <laughs> that was super cringy. But something I didn't know about Frank was when I seen him, we was gonna see his true colors. If he really stood to that, when I see you, it's on site. Because where I live in Philly, if someone says that, it can mean so many things. So the second day, I knew Frank was gonna be there. Everyone's, oh, Frank's gonna be coming. Be, be careful out there. I don't know. I saw some on Frank's story, bro. That boy don't play. That's word. Just saying, be safe and have fun. We lit this weekend. Positive vibes. Scared, like, I'm like, bro, stop it, guys, stop. Is that Wait, who said that? Oh! Ooh, I'm gonna mess this bad boy up. Howdy. Hello, handsome. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, them ads are ridiculous. This is NBA dude. young boy, literal clone wannabe. So sad to see people lose touch with their identity. It really is. So I waited for the entire ride out to pass. And I made sure that nobody I knew was around me for when I confronted Frank. And when I seen Frank, he was literally by himself. Now, it seems like a lot of people were confused on why I was filming. But the reason why I was filming was for one, if I didn't film, that gives like the entire SC crew the upper hand. Yo, La Plot guy just followed me up. Isn't that like... Um, what's his name? This dude is crazy, man. They look up to us just like, this is crazy. We look at them. It's crazy. <clears throat> we get back to it. To just manipulate this entire life. Dude, I mean, this is my job to document my life. I've been doing this as a kid. So this is how it went down when I seen him. What's up? Bro. Oh my God. What's up? You said it's on site when you see me. I'm right here. Bro, what you want to do? He's asking me what I want to do. Like, I was the one that initiated this. What you want to do? Bro, you posted what something. You, you, said, try, look, you, you, do, about use your, you said some stuff. You posted me. You got me blocked. What you talking about? I ain't on no scary either. I'm right the fuck here. Bro, when we stop, I'm going to say if you block that shit. I'm right the fuck here. Fuck what talking about? Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Rosati ain't even come to this. Rosati ain't come to the States to sit around. Mmm. Big money bag, Rosati. Mmm. Yeah, I think they're just counting my my two now. <laughs> Where the ads? Oh, 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 because it was two ads. Okay, I can't. Bro, right here, look, right and here. I'm and I'm nobody here with me either. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, Rosati said he was alone. Mm, ain't he in Florida? Mm, on the ninety five. Mm. What is this? By the Whole Foods. Mm. What you said? I see sponsors. That shit good today. Had crazy. Why? Why you was mad? You stuck on that old ass bike. <laughs> See what it has, bitch. That was a little unnecessary, though, Rosati. You ain't had to rub that in his face like that. This is why y'all dudes be dying. Wow. Y'all don't know how much to stay out of stuff that ain't got nothing to do with y'all.
and you wasn't there either, you could get punched on too. Mm, this is a crazy um eco foot, foot footprint step to be leaving. Rosati ain't come to the states. Oh, it's funny considering he made a public threat to me, and this is the way he's acting. It's like so sad. It's definitely embarrassing. Like if I was him, I'd be embarrassed. Like this is how I'm going out in my own city. Like how I had never made any post about Frank till that point when I confronted. At that moment, I realized clearly. Look, this NBA young boy wanna be gangster. Just got exposed. True identities out there now on video. This beef gotta be over. He didn't stand to his word. And at that point, we pretty much rode about a quarter mile together to this gas station where everyone else was and while i'm riding i'm over here thinking like bro this is over with there's no way he's trying to keep this going because if he did he would have just rumbled me then and there like what this is when things just escalated to the highest level possible frank had to wait till he was in front digital footprint talk to me an entire ride to try to confront me with his friends and at this point guys he came up to me first thing hey that's my boy am i right there entire ride to try to confront me with his friends that's my boy am i right there some shit at this point, guys, he came up to me. First thing he said was, oh, like, what was all that you were saying, bro? As the way he just came up to me, the energy he gave me was off the rip, very hostile. At that point, I just had to defend myself. I knew I was definitely not going to get punched on first. I definitely knew I was not about to go out like no bitch. is ugly as fuck. Look at this nigga. Shiesty up and everything. I know that boy Shiesty. <laughs> yeah, that boy Shiesty, boy. <laughs> that boy Patches, boy. That motherfucker ugly. That's my guy though, I'm just fucking with him. Yo, after this video though, uh Trina, me and you gonna go into Discord and we gonna sit and we gonna talk about it. Wait, say that one more time. I said after the video done. Me and you going to sit in the Discord and we're going to talk about it. If Rosati is up, we might add him to it for a second. Rosati really down for bike Word. life, man. After five minutes of me, you know, just being there, I decided that, you know, it's just best if I leave because I did not want to keep riding at this point. I was just looking at things from like a perspective if it happened back in Philly. Phone calls would definitely be getting made and people would start pulling up. Like it would have definitely got bad. I went on Instagram to just explain everything that happened because I was tired of people DMing me like, yo, what happened? Blah, blah, blah. So I just told everything that happened. He goes on Instagrams and just starts creating his own fictional reality. He goes on this rant about how he's seen me and when he seen me, he pressed me and I start crying. So he punched on me and I was just crying. It's just crazy to believe that you just lied to everybody. Yeah, boy, and I just got right, man, safe. Don't be bringing out that camera like you finna do something, bro. Hey, uh, it is what it is. And he cried. And he went home. Hey, he say he beat me. Hey, tell that boy to spin back. I'm at the gas station. Tell that boy to spin back. Hey. This is all the stuff that I saw when I was telling y'all I saw. Internet shooter. <laughs> Airport be throwing them bikes on some hate and shit. <laughs> bro, bro, rap. Bro, I swear, bro. Yo. When you when you get a bike, when you put your bike on the um on the plane, bro, I swear the people in there be like this. <laughs> they just be throwing it, bro. They don't care. They don't care about your bike or nothing. But um <laughs> But um 
what was I saying? Yeah, this is the part I was talking about when I said um, this is the only part I saw before I went to Miami. Cause I got to Miami, and everybody was beefing. I was, I was like, what's going on? Why is everyone mad at each other? Like, came down here to ride, have fun, cool with both sides. Like, they really be in the gym to lift them heavy ass bikes. Yo, facts. But um, yeah, this is the part I was talking about when I saw it. this was like a whole shit bike post right here. This part right here. See, tomorrow's gonna go down, my boy. Real if you watch Frank's clips where. He Tomorrow. That was this. So this this was posted like literally the day that I was like about to come over. I was on my way to the airport and shit. About to get on a plane. No, I was about to get on a plane when all of this was happening. He was like, yeah. Oh, Posting, crazy. talking like NBA young boy trying to act all tough. Clearly seems very mad about the situation. Little effort. Big smiles. Help yourself. Yo, keep it a bean. Do y'all like this kind of mac and cheese? Yeah, boy, and I just got right. I think this is the um shit bike Man. post. This is the shit bike post. This is shit bike post. This is what I saw. You did not, in fact, get right. This is self-affirming behavior. Something that can be. I'm not reading this. He was safe. Don't be bringing out that camera like you finna do something, bro. He literally did. Hey, uh, it is what it is. And he cried. And he went home. The post. The leaving. Part is true, but the crying. Hey, he say he beat me. Hey, tell our boy to spin back. Frank seemingly unhappily. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm at the gas station. Tell our boy to spin back. Rosati really be on demon time, on and off the bike. Hell no, Velveeta's where it's at. <laughs> Shout out to Rosati for the video. It is crazy how much of a video looks like a real storyline. I know it's crazy. He really did. He did a good job. That boy, hey, he ain't never come back to the gas station. Hey, no marks on my face. I'm like that. Hey, mm. I see you tomorrow. It's going to go down, my boy. Mm. All of the I am like that talk seem like self fuck. <laughs> Affirming behavior. Why can't I? Why couldn't I say that? I was trying to say affirmation, but that's not what it said. This is the result of him losing the fight and his ego being damaged. He is now trying to self heal by telling himself and calling himself all the things he wants to believe himself in the word in a desperate attempt to appease his obviously bruised and overinflated ego. What's up? And I made him go home. Yes, Frank. I'm sure it was you. The one and only 4K trade demon from Florida, Louisiana, that made Rosati go home. Florida, Louisiana. Oh, wow. They made Rosati go home after getting the better of you. Not the rowdy crowd of fellow teenage Florida natives who would probably hop in and start whooping ass for free. <laughs> oh, God. He's yo, he's cooking. He's cooking. Yo, yo, let me see some fire emojis in the chat. Rosati's cooking. He's cooking right now. Let me see some fire emojis, yo. He's cooking. <laughs> let him cook. Yo, let him cook. Continue to let him cook. Let him cook now. All right, wait, let him cook. All right, all right, I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna let him cook. When all this went down, when it was clear as day that Frank was in the wrong, people are telling me that D Block <laughs> sent Frank out because made that post about the grips. And then I start to later find out that the whole reason why Frank even made that threat was all over me posting the grips on Instagram. He felt the need he had to stand up for his crew because I'm attacking them. Like, just super cringy things, guys. It was very important for you to understand that that was his reaction behind this. Wait, that, that wait. It's very important for you to understand that that was his react. That that was his reason behind his threats. So look, now that's crazy part to me. I can't lie. That Frank got dripped. So look, that's what I'm saying. Frank Frank was dripping. But that fun boy mentality ain't it. <laughs> Y'all seen SE Bikes recent post? I saw they say they, they uh that Frank wasn't on the team anymore. I'll pull that up after this. 
But um, Frank be dripping though. But that is crazy though that all of this happened because like Rosati posted about how nobody likes SE drips. Like we all know none of us like them, Jones. They're bad. But you know what I'm saying? Like, who cares? All because I made a post joking around about how trash the SE stock grips are and cutting them off. And SE Bikes has kept him on the team knowing that. Mmm. That's why they kicked him off. SE being the professional company they are, instead of kicking him off the team and making a public apology to me, they do the opposite and literally post a picture just praising this man, saying, oh. Mmm. They, oh, they did this after the, um. And literally post a picture just raising this man saying, Oh, 26 minutes ago, okay. Squad, the hashtag SE crew traveled down to sunny Miami, one Will Frank's hometown, to ride all weekend with thousands of other riders for MLK weekend. It's always such an awesome vibe when the crew comes to Miami. Awesome pick by Hancho, Hugo, RD Box, J Miles, BS Ball Out, Hurry's Bike Life. Um, and then shit bikes in the comment says, keeping Frank on the team is bold. Todd Lyons already knew. Oh wait, I didn't read that. SE bikes post after the fight. Todd Lyons already knew everything that happened. SE has seen That's my crazy. stories. I even texted Todd telling him. So like, it wasn't no secret. When they made this post, everyone from the community was mad, angry. Why are y'all posting? Mm. Praising this man that just. Frank is a walking L. Hey, how this brand is slowly falling apart in the worst way. So this wait, all right, y'all, all right, y'all. So I got a big ripper, right? I have a big ripper in my house. In my, it's, it's, it's with my other bike. What do I do now? Like, do I never put it back together? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I was about to bring it back, and I was gonna like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was gonna have it again. Like, do I not do that or like what? Like, talk to me. What do I do now? What do I do now? How do I go now? What do I? Where do I go from here? Somebody tell me, please. Take off them badges. I've been took off all the S. I've been took off all the SE um stickers on my bikes though. Mafia TTO. <laughs> Yo, what do I do? What do I do? Do I just get a mafia? Like, do I get a mafia now? Like, what? Like, what do y'all mean, mafia TTO? Like, just throw my SE bike away. I only have one more SE bike left. I was gonna bring it back. Collective TTO. <laughs> I miss, I love my bomber. Sell them. And, and all make sure, and make, and make your own frame. I want to make my own frame for sure. I don't know how to go about that though. Burn it. I wanted to throw a bike off of a roof. Off of a, I wanted to throw a bike off of a roof. I wanted to do an SE bike too. Make your own frame. I want to, I want to, I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. But. I might, I, I might do that and then just have, like, all my bikes kind of look like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. C2 bikes are crazy. I love them the most. C2s are fun. Get thrown. I fuck with thrown. But I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm kind of where Rosati is. Like, I don't really care about the, uh, the company names or, like, the, um, the sponsorships behind it and all. Like, I just like riding. <laughs> I just like riding. So... When you coming out with the Rosati Ripper, he already did that. It's purple. Um, I mean to call you. Oh, all right, my phone on. Do you, do you not? But um, you was cutting on the Hero Johns. I know. I, I I I. That's what I'm riding right now. I'm riding all Hero. Like that's the only bike I'm riding. Other than like my electric bikes, I'm gonna ride every once in a while. But my main bike is my Hero once again. Essie was a big W, but after this, FBI stuff from Rosati really opened my eyes, yo. Yo, first Corey opened up everyone's eyes, and now this time around it's Rosati. That is so crazy. But yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna let y'all decide with my, with my ripper frame. Angry, why are y'all posting this? Why are y'all literally praising this man that just did this to Rosati? And how did SE reply? They started to delete every comment from every- Yo, facts, and then they started blocking people too.
Corey is a W man. Everybody, they only wanted y'all to see the good, and that's something that SC will forever do. They do not want getting more and more reports of locked accounts. Got to be able to express how y'all truly feel about things. No company should be able to try to control some type of narrative in that way. If the community feels some way, it's very important to let them speak out about it. And the fact that SC just wants to control this is just super bad. And the fact that they even had to delete the picture of their crew just goes to show. All I'm trying to show you guys is that this entire SC crew sponsorship has destroyed these riders' perspective. They all think they have authority over people they have they think they have authority over ride out they think they can just tell people what they can and can't do like at this point guys everything is out of control and very unprofessional now after that entire situation happened me defending myself on instagram you started to see just more se crew riders come out and just overall takes Rosati don't make posts that video showing nothing but you lying what the hell this kid is like seven i'm gonna just get a walmart bike to be honest at Rosati, don't make me post the video that shows nothing but you lying. Comment made by his dad. What? What the? What is? What the? This throws me off. This threw me off. This just threw me off. <laughs> this just threw me off. <laughs> Mongoose TTO. No, they got Lil Man. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying, bro. This just threw me off. Huh? Brainwashed him. Lil Man. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what? Nah, that just, that just, that just threw my whole situation off. ...myself on Instagram, you started to see just more SC crew riders come out and just overall takes Frank's side without even being there. But yet, they were all on Frank's side. You start to see our D-Blocks posts on Instagram, literally oh, instigating them. Tomorrow, we outside, keep that energy. He's 30! <laughs> come on! He's too old. Can't make this itch up. LaFamile. Yo. You're third. Our situation saying you a snitch for him trying to go out somewhere and just posting on social media what someone did to you. Is this snitching? Is A for snitch is A for is A for of snitching? Yo, what school slash education posting on social media what someone did to you is a four of snitching correct what 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 he talking about <laughs> what, what he mean what he meant by that i don't know what's what y'all what he meant let's just keep going bro it just makes no sense unless people like me just come out and it really exposed the way this crew operates. And it's so obvious that this was literally like a matrix. So he calling all domestic abuse victims snitches. That's what I'm hearing. Like, what the hell? Now, anyone watching this video, what I really want y'all to take from this is one, everyone teaming up to just once again try to destroy Rosati. You do not need to be sponsored by SC. And honestly, it's best if you stay the farthest away, try to find your own company to represent. This group of riders is so toxic. I truly hope that one day we see more bike life people having control over, you know, the scene, being able to customize products and actually, you know, make them for what we do. But until us, the people, really try to make a change, we'll keep seeing the same mistakes. We'll keep seeing RD block literally program some new up-and-coming kid to act violent whenever somebody is against their product like they claim to be this we ride as one but the truth is that's awesome bs we all ride as one is more like we all ride as one as long as your viewpoint is the same as mine after this video i ain't gonna lie this facts bro you ain't know that SC Black, they don't fuck with you. Comes out, I'm literally just gonna go back to my regular ish posting, trying to grind. But after all these events that y'all have learned of me, that I've had with SC crew members when I'm just trying to literally just proceed my YouTube dreams, but I am no longer supporting them. I am no longer recommending them. And I will definitely forever be trying to wake people up from this sponsorship illusion. I appreciate everyone that supported me throughout this entire situation. Really, the Rose Mob, all my subscribers, and the Bike Life community. I wanna see the clutch happen. I wanna see the chat clapping right now because y'all just really sat here this whole vid i want to see the whole chat clapping right now clap it up chat
Clap it up, chat. Clap it up, chat. Share this video with all your bike life friends. Clap it up, y'all. Everybody clap it up. Thank you very, very much, man. Everybody clap it up, man. W video. W video for sure. I haven't done a reaction video in a long time. That felt good. It felt, it felt like I'm back in the, in the vibe a little bit. emotional a little bit for the reaction and streaming. Feel good. All right. But yeah, everybody keep clapping it up. Keep clapping it up. All right, let's go to the second portion. We're going to go to uh, Discord with Trandom. And we're going to talk about it. Because Trandom had already seen the video. I hadn't seen it yet. So I can't really talk about it. Let me get at Rosati, if Rosati is. Hello, we got him in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, y'all. If y'all want to join my my uh, my uh Discord server, <laughs> where is it at? Uh, I don't know how to do it. Forget it. But I can invite Rosati in here right now. All right. All right, train him. You can hear me, train him? Train him. Yo, yo. Gang, gang, yeah. gang, gang. The truth can't be hidden. Hate it or not. W vid, W stream, W creators. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. But yeah. Train him. W video, right? Oh, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear oh. you. W vid, right? Oh, the W. Yo, yo, Rosati, the one and only, the Mister, oh. the video maker himself. No, no, no. that is me. Yes, I sir. I, I, I just want to say, um, thank you for putting that video out there. You know, what I'm saying it felt, it felt like you had some good, um, very good, um, what is the, what is the word? Sources. You had some good sources. You had some good information in there, and you, and I feel like you woke up a lot of people. Like my eyes was open a long time ago about the whole company and all. I knew what they was doing. So, you know, I, I kind of just, you know, like I already knew what was going on. I just dissed myself. But, you know, for you to put this video out, I feel like it's fire to let everybody know what really goes on behind the scenes and what people don't see and know about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. Nah, for real, like, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, like, you know, even everyone watching this, and everyone just sat here and watched 40 minutes of me just fucking talk. Like, and I paused, like, 35,000 Yeah. Hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, to <laughs> me, it's like... Bro, think about, like, all you have to do is examine somebody and watch them try to watch TikTok. They just give it a second. Like, people can't even sit around for, like, five seconds and watch a video anymore. But yet, people sat here and actually watched this video for 40 minutes, which goes to show, like, if there was something about bike life that was off and it almost seemed like this information was, like, needed in the community, like, there's nothing wrong with this being out. Like, everyone's trying to make it seem like this is something wrong, like, oh my god, but the truth is, if you analyze the people that are saying that, it's all people that either, A, want to get sponsored by SE still mm -hmm. after the video, two, SE affiliates, obviously, and three people that, you know what I'm saying, like, have SC products that they have to sell, unfortunately, that's not a problem of mine, you know what I'm saying, if there's anyone y'all would like to be mad at, obviously, it would be Frank, he's the one that initiated this, and yeah, bro, and like I said, I'm not... Even 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 right now, bro, I'm not trying to get people to attack anybody. Honestly, the person people should really be mad at is Todd. Todd is was really the one behind all of this, bro. Todd knew what he was doing from the moment he started doing ride outs in Philly, New York. Like, he's not dumb, bro. He comes from a business like you know what I'm saying? He comes from a business background. Mm -hmm. Like he knew exactly what he was doing, bro. Off the rip. Like he's like, bro, these kids They'll do anything for SC just because of what we can do for them. But, you know, once our mind expands, it's just, like, over, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what that video did for people. It just it made them realize, like, damn, like, SC really ain't shit. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> like, real shit, bro. That's just the truth, bro. Like, okay. they had they had six plus years to try to make it something. They Why had, didn't they? Had, they? No, no, no. Forget that. Before they even had the, the SC team or whatever, they had the best rider in the world on their side. You know, what I'm literally Corey, bro. They, bro, if Co yo, you know what's crazy, bro? If Corey would have replaced D Blocks, bro, honestly, I, I can't even imagine where Bike Life would be right now. It would be, it would be bro. different. But that's just what it is, bro. Um, the truth is that D Blocks never wants anyone to be above him ever, and obviously Corey would have surpassed him immediately. And all of that shine wouldn't have been on D-Blocks anymore. It would have been on Corey immediately. I'm talking like 
quickly, bro. He would have just looked like the old hat, and Corey would have looked like the new aspiring young talented rider, which he was. Yeah, but man. you know what I'm saying? Like that's just what it is, bro. And it's kind of weird that I always wondered why did Todd not kick D blocks off from a business perspective when he did that to me the first time and then now after all of this and he's still on the team mm -hmm. even though he's he's the reason why frank behaved the way he did that's just the truth also mm -hmm. frank frank you know what i'm saying from just me seeing him at ride outs he don't even seem like he talk a lot bro even though he's still you know trying to act like top demon of the world <laughs> deep down he don't really talk like much so you can tell it almost seemed like he was pressured to do this shit mm -hmm. and it was D blocks, bro. That's just the truth, and I could, I could, ST's just, too. yeah, obviously. And SC and the thing is, SC don't even realize that if they don't kick him off, he's just gonna do the same shit to another kid down the road. And then what if it's way worse than just what happened to me or the people that you know? What I'm saying that video that I didn't even know anything about, bro. I was asleep when that heard, shit came I heard, out. I heard, I heard that uh, the kid had brain damage. A lot of bro, people what the fuck? Damage. Bro, that's that's what they said in the comments. One of one of the guys was like, "Yeah, one kid had brain damage." Bro, that's like, just unbelievable. Wait, 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 wait. Like you know, from from what? Um, from that video that got posted about the um the jumping video, bro. That shit, bro. That bro, I bro, I I'm not even lying, bro. That shit was like the universe working in, in its own way, bro. Like I was like, what the fuck, bro. Bro, I'm trying to say, because oh, keep it a bean, bro. If I would have known about that video, I would have put that joint in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would have just made my point a fact. That I had nothing to do with that joint. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just... That's just the that, that's just God fucking backfiring. Yeah. I feel Definitely like... I feel is. like... So, what do you think the next step is for, like, bike life and everybody that's just, like, you know, trying to improve the sport and turn it into, like, an actual sport? What do you think is, like, the next step? Bro, I mean, real ra real rap, the next step is really just, like, everyone just focusing either on themselves or trying to create a good group of people to, like, chase a goal, bro. Like, the thing is, people need to understand why they even do the things they do. Like, why am I riding bikes? Like, there's nothing wrong with riding bikes as a hobby, you know? Like, right, nothing wrong with it. I know people that have a 9 to 5 in Florida. I know people that, you know what I'm saying, like, literally – have a full-time career and you know this bike shit is just a little hobby just like how other people fucking go golfing or whatever yeah it's the same shit you know what i'm saying nothing wrong with it bro mm -hmm. however if you do want to if you do want to take it to the next level where you do want to make money i mean the facts are out sc's not the answer so now you just got to find out how you're going to do it and i can't give people the blueprint you know what i'm saying because i had to figure out my own blueprint and every blueprint's different you got to create your own and that's for people to figure out whether they want to either make, you know, handlebars for bikes or pegs or whatever, whatever niggas want, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I would love to, bro, I would love to get on a, on a, like any type of talk with anybody. Like I even went live today with race. I would have, bro, I'm a, I'm not going to lie. I would have been open to get on a live with Frank. But I'm going to be honest, bro. I just don't think he's just, like, going to be able to have a good conversation with me. Like, he just don't make sense. And nothing ever made sense from nah, the yeah, start. The live video, the live video was crazy. Everybody, talking, everybody talking, said no, I'm about to go downstairs. Bloom's outside my crib. I got to give him something. But what the I'm fuck? <laughs> Bloom outside your crib at 2.20 in the morning? I know. 2.30, actually. 2.30 yeah. is crazy. But I mean, um, yeah, nah, bro. That's just really what it is. How do you feel, uh, Trandom? How do you feel about the situation? Nah, that video, that video was crazy. That yeah, man. Was crazy. When I saw that video, I was like, yeah, that's that's chill. <laughs> then the, the, the D blocks, the D blocks one. I heard about that one a while ago. I remember, I remember watching the video. Yeah, bro. But that that D block shit, it's crazy because that shit got swept under the rug, for real. Yo, I heard. Uh, didn't it get a couple a uh, couple views after that one video? Huh? It got a couple. It got a couple more views, right? Not much, bro. Like that video, like bro. I mean, no one really. D Box still had hella sponsors after that video came out. Like, people really didn't like, like for a little bit, you know. Maybe for that first summer, people were like, uh, like F D Blocks. But after some time, everything went back to normal. Which, I mean, bro, I wouldn't be surprised the same thing happened here. But I mean, as long as this video is public, bro, I'm not gonna lie. 
I mean, the way the, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I optimized the shit out of this video. I made sure to say uh, SC bikes a lot of times, so it would rank on top of the search like searches. So now every time somebody looks up SC, my video is the first one to pop up. No, that, that's definitely. You know what I'm saying? I so it's like, like, bro, I like, but I feel, I feel like the the energy from. Yeah. Like, all right, trade them. How about you? Like, 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 how do you feel like, like, if Frank would have posted like like you saying it's on site like Man. wouldn't you go up like and you in I florida well you. Yo, it was good with some of what i talking you feel me? right you wouldn't just and, ignore and, him right like like if you've seen him even though you're in another state you're not just going to ignore him you're gonna feel like a bitch if you do that nah yeah. for real but you know what i'm saying you yeah, definitely, I'm I'm definitely a bitch. Like a bitch at the, i ain't yeah. even say nothing and then he gonna say and then imagine that he gonna be like damn that nigga that nigga ain't even say nothing after i posted that, 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 that get, look look if, if you if you ain't say nothing you ain't, he definitely would have posted on his story exactly i seen that i seen that little man he was bitching he ain't say nothing to me you know what i'm saying so like people try and be like oh why you pull up on frank but like if i didn't it would have still been this this just doesn't make sense bro like i don't know how people can't think properly i'm not talking about people like the general people more like still the people supporting him and like you know what i'm saying like bro i mean people are also saying like damn like his comments are crazy but i'm gonna keep it a beam bro like that's nothing like go look at my shorts that blown up i'm talking like over 18 million views and go read my comments they're all people hating on us like uh, what, calling us what really threw me every off post, every post really i had that off. blows up oh, bro people the reason that you know it blows up is if you have a bunch of people saying how arguing and shit in the comments yeah yeah like how it would be funny if you died or like if you got yeah, hit exactly. exactly bro and that's just what comes with this shit bro like yeah. you gotta get you gotta know how, what to consume and what not bro and if you choose to consume the negativity there's no one here to blame but you that's cool. just you yeah. know what I'm saying that's just what it is. But which what was you gonna say, Trainer? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I you forgot. Saying how, um, you were saying something about damn. I was listening to you too. Uh, definitely forgot. Um. Oh, the um. You were saying about how the, the clout, the clout. Nah, it's the clout. Oh. It's the clout. The clout about uh D blocks when he posted when he posted about the clout. I'm gonna keep it a beam. He already he already had all the all the views. The views he had. The one with the Cali too. The Cali one, that video blew up like crazy. How many views? Like a mil? No, when he posted that, that yeah, not when he posted that, bro. I already had like Cali Jones blown up like um in Philly, just like you know what I'm saying, like ride outs and shit like bro. 2017, 2018, like just how I mean, even off but I'm bro, my most viewed video isn't even bike lives. I mean it is the um uh I don't even know what it, my most viewed video is, but like I know the like the second one gotta be like the um where I teach people how to buy stuff online without a credit card, and that John has nothing to do with bike life. Mm. Just like you know, what I'm saying I know an informative video, bro, and it oh, and just looking at the you know the patterns, it seems like maybe I was put here to just share information. You know, what I'm saying learn yeah. information, share it with the people, and I'm gonna just have to get used to people getting mad about that, <laughs> like. You know what I'm saying? How you, like, how do you feel about the new uh, upcoming riders right now? I All mean, like which one? Like exactly. In general. All like, the I think the question well, is, well, the, what message the, the, you give to like any new upcoming riders that want to be like in a place all right. you are in or, or a place? Of all right, yeah, all right. It's really easy. And all right, so for one, you need to you need to have discipline. For one, you need to learn about discipline. And you need to learn about self improvement as. As but the it's it's harder than just saying it because is if you're surrounded by the wrong people they're gonna make fun of you or they're just gonna like drag you back to your regular self so you really gotta isolate yourself and try to like just learn new things for real bro and uh you know I was a, a really famous YouTuber actually it was Zach goes Zach goes told me I was at his house one time and he was like yo like if you like really want to take this YouTube shit serious you have to read this book. And I was like, I never read a book before. And I was like, nigga, f I don't care about that book. I never read a book in my life. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, bro, I'm trying to tell you. And then he, I was like, let me ask you this. Did this, if if you wouldn't have read this book, would you have hit a million subscribers? He was like, hell nah, no way. I was like, all right, that's all I needed to read. And pretty much the book is called The um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And this book just pretty much talks about habits, like how habits make your life up, right? Like for example, if I, for the next um, two weeks, 
for an hour every day I'm learning let's say Portuguese right obviously in three weeks I'm gonna know a lot more than I do now right imagine you did that with whatever you want to do in life whether that's YouTube whether that's bike manufacturing whatever it may be just one hour every day just like you know what I'm saying focused up and I actually took it to the extreme level where I literally dedicated the whole day I mean I had just gone out of school nothing else to fucking do so every day just watching podcasts of youtubers you know hitting up youtubers really trying to figure out how to get the name up on youtube and the more you do this every day the more you'll get better so really the best advice i could do is you got to get addicted to learning if not you're just not you're just gonna fail you just can't be comfortable with what you know there's and right now there's so much to learn you can learn how to fucking do anything bro on youtube it's crazy. Like, bro, like, like, if, bro, there's probably video, there's death videos out there on how to fucking make your own bike and shit. I just don't understand that, but, um, that's oh, just bro. the truth, bro. Obviously, bro, I mean, at this point, everyone knows sponsorship ain't the word un unless they, the, the company's now about to start paying them, which obviously they're not. Companies right now have a crazy amount of bikes in stock. I mean, bro, it's just like, it seems like the bike market is going to crash. And there's no one here to blame but the the bike people, honestly. Yeah. Like they can try to blame us, but we we did our part. We always supported, right? We always bought when the new bikes came out. Mm -hmm. You know, we were good consumers. Yeah, backdoored us. For sure, got backdoored by the big companies, man. Y'all y'all seen the big flyer neon green going for five hundred? Yeah, like, bro. My fucking. I saw that. My, I was. I was thinking. I was thinking. I was like, they probably did that because of the situation that happened. My phase ripper knockoff. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's How the green one. For? Bro, the, for one, the fact that they're doing that. Um. Uh, what's the name? Um, when, wait, what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, the neon green bike, right? Yeah. Um. It's going for like five hundred. Yeah, that bike was probably going for like seven, eight, because it's a big flyer. So, seven hundred is going for five hundred now. Bro, the fact that they lowered it that low, for one, um, just shows that they're backdooring the shit out of their um bike shops, bro. Well, how much five? How much five hundred some? Bro, I bet bike shops is making literally no profit from that, like zero. They probably bought the bike for like. 350 or four nah no way probably 400 for that bike didn't you make this now first too huh yeah that's what i'm saying yeah yo the craziest thing is that. you know you know crash boys made a bike that they copied off of too which bike they made a Kyrie Irving uh bike it was a boston themed one like all green and shit like they literally mm. this one yeah you want to hear a fun fact yeah i was not gonna drop this video for one reason i was like I bought to delete the whole video what? midway because um when I went to the studio to film this video my wireless mic was not working and you know how I am about wireless mic shit bro you know how I fucking like literally need that shit bro and I swear it was not working like it just like I I tried for 40 and I had paid like by the hour to be there you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so I'm not trying to be here for a fucking hour just trying to fix my mic for nothing like so after like 40 minutes trying to figure it out, it just wouldn't work. The bull was like, oh, I got an uh, external one. He popped it out, but I knew that it would be kind of echoey. And then like I got home, I reviewed the footage, and I, I was just not fucking with it, bro, at all. Like I was like, I don't fuck with it. I was like, bro, like this shit sucks. Like I, like, I had completely convinced myself like this shit fucking sucks, but then I was like, I was like, bro, I don't got fucking time to go back there and say all this shit again. <laughs> like, bro, like I was sitting there for so long explain, bro. Think about it. That video, forty minutes. Think yeah, about how long I was. Minutes. Bro, think about how much, bro. And I had a lot of other shit too. I cut off too. Like, there's a whole behind the yeah, scenes. You was, there, you was there at least like. I was like there from seven. Hours, three hours. I, I was. I got there at like seven. I left there at midnight. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Five hours. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then yeah. that day before that, I had to write everything I was gonna say, so I knew like, you know, like I wasn't saying random shit yeah, that so just you came. Out. Time neither. Yeah, so it was crazy too because the bull that was like monitoring the camera, bro, he's just sitting there listening to me. 
<laughs> so, <he's, laughs> he, and he don't know nothing about bikes too bro he don't know nothing about bikes so it's just like i had to explain it to him real quick before i started talking i'm like yo these, this just happened to me in miami i'm just coming in here bro like nah that shit was crazy nah, though but i really i, I really wonder what his reaction bro is bro he, Bro, he was just like on his phone, like he was on his phone, like but kept looking back to make sure he's filming like every once in a while. But, bro, I I don't know, bro. It's just I find it crazy. I was the one picked to 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 play this Wake role. Yeah, bro. Because let's keep it a beam, bro. Only a very few, like maybe Bloom is another person that could have done it oh, with definitely. you know like. Yeah, with video Definitely. creation, like, you know, sitting there talking and shit. But, like, there's very few people, bro, because everyone else is kind of bought out, you know? Like, everyone else is kind of sold. So, it's very, um, but you know what I'm saying? But now, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a predict what's going to happen, which is kind of happening now. But actually not. Um, I would like to make, uh, here, I'm going to film a prediction real quick. Let's hear your prediction. All right, because I think I have a very good prediction. <laughs> uh, it's to come. Yeah, no, nah, all right, so my prediction is a couple. One, I think that uh, SC, after some while, is going to try to paint me as the bad guy and say, like, oh, that video is doing more harm than good. Like, that's, like, destroying SC because now bike shops are um, backdoored because of this and, you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third. They're going to try to play that. Um, They're trying to play that role, which is obviously fucking stupid. And then... After that, I think the SC crew gonna fall apart, bro. I mean, the fact, like, think about it, Zay. Think about it from your your shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're in a crew. This supposed to be family, and then you watch one of your brothers go. Like, we supposed to be family, right? Like that boy and and ain't bull go out um for for his family too, trying to trying to stand up for them, yeah, right? He did. He so if anything if anything bro didn't i do them a favor showing them that they they dad is a a a, a back door because I mean, I didn't everybody a favor i'm i'm but I'm, but, and, but also to the sc just showing them like yo look like this yeah, person yeah, y'all sure. think that you know what i'm saying like this person y'all think is supposed to be here for y'all crazy just kicked one of y'all off he he pretty much bro you know what i'm saying that's what he did bro so um, it's just crazy to see that. It's just like, it's sad, bro. It's very sad. Like that Todd knew this, this could happen. He knew this could happen, bro. He knew he saw this coming. Like he had two weeks, bro. He <laughs> saw how the, he saw, he saw how the deep, how the D block shit went down, bro. Like, come on. Like he should have known, bro. He knew it was, he, he knew it was about to happen. He, he didn't know what he could have did. It was over with. Bro, I'm going to tell you what it is, bro. He just didn't think like. I just had that pool, like you know what I'm saying. Just didn't think it. it just did it. They, they like their ego is so big, bro. They, they, imagine this is the crew riders' ego. Imagine, you know, the real SCs. You know, like their shit must be on a whole other level. Like we're unstoppable. I mean, bro. And I okay. wouldn't. And I'm not. And I'm not surprised though, bro. Cause, bro, th like they've definitely generated over ten million dollars. Off of off of who though? Off of us. Riders, bro, man. over ten million, no doubt, bro. Easily, definitely making a million. That bro, they're probably spending a million just manufacturing. And I understand a lot of money goes into a lot of money. You know, what I'm saying like it's not all profits, but still, you know, we're not gonna deny the fact that money was generated. Crazy, still is being right now, and the people that are over here, literally, the reason why it is where it's at or not. Yeah, this is how y'all treating them, bro. It's like, damn, bro. Yeah. Fuck. I really think, bro. I really think that either a younger person watching that watch my video, mm -hmm. I can't say who, but I'm gonna tell you that I think that the right person gonna watch that video and really make bike life something crazy. No, either no, a I feel like now you know who I feel like gonna change the game, like the Onyx. Huh? No. Onyx could. Oh. Onyx could if they, they wanted could. to. No, they could. They could. They could. If they if they keep going on the, on the road, they going on and keep. No, like I'm saying, if they came out with the right wheelie e-bike, bro, yeah. that would change the game immediately. That's like especially. They, that's, that's what they working on though. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah. But but if it's like a wheelie, like a like a like a wheelie specific like one, you know, like. By us. 
like we like all right like for example me you and like a couple other people we like martin we went out there and like you know kind of broke down to them why we think that uh the bikes make it like easier to combo or something you know like make the bike more floatable mm -hmm. KJ, be and then uh yeah have a good night kj or maybe they have some type of prototype for us to ride for a couple of days you know and then we tell them how we feel about it at the end we tell them how they could be fixed mm -hmm. like that's what needs to happen bro shit like that see look but like the bike companies like the bike companies that's like shoes for like like and basketball players like they could wear any kind of shoes like it's just, yeah no nah, like, exactly no nah. we want you to wear our shoes to to pay you like we want to pay you to wear our shoes because you know what i'm saying like you know we want you on yeah the team or whatever but like when i say like change the the whole game to like make it like a sport? I feel like Crash Boy's gonna do that. Oh yeah, not for sure. Yeah, and I, I, I had already talked to Crash Boys about that. I mean, they're the first ones to. I mean, no one's ever done something like Crash Boys. Twenty K, yeah. what? You know what I'm saying? Like ever. I mean, bro, fucking Crash Boys give out probably more than SC's given their riders like, ever. Think about that. Crash Boys day. give more money out in one day than yeah. SC has given to their entire riders, bro. And Crash Boys has definitely not generated as much money as SC from Bike Life. Oh, so, not at all. Not at all. you know what I'm saying? So, that just goes to show, bro. Like, shit crazy, bro. Like, you know, Crash Boys definitely just see a vision, you know? And Yeah. And, I, feel like and, I feel like that's kind of like the future, like, like Crash Boys. Yeah, shit like that, bro. I, I mean, I always said, bro, it can, Bike Life can get to the point where there's like a, a t uh, you know, national team in every fucking uh, state, you know? shit stuff like that um you know shit crazy like definitely like bro people would people would fly in from all over the world for like events and shit what bro that shit would be crazy it'd be way bigger than what like bmx and shit was like how people from brazil would be coming in niggas would just be like sitting there watching the show then just some crazy brazilian come out the mix okay. just like somebody yeah, you've never seen a whole song like that though with some bleachers on the side and, and shit. that shit would be fire would you say, Trina? I hear you. Also, some shit with bleachers on the side. I have every lock pop on. Yeah, but I, got, I also got to have like the big ass TV. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. in the. For real, not that's, in that's the. Like, it's, it's, man. it's gotta manifest that shit though. For sure. It's gonna it's happen, bro. Yeah, it's bound like, to happen. That's why Crash Boys keep going and pushing what they doing. Cause I feel like they're, they're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if Crash Boys made their own bike, like, and they that's what they do though. They make custom bikes. Like they've been doing that before they did like anything else like for ride outs there when they started ride outs they would do custom bikes to give away at the ride outs like that's how they really started and like i feel like if they keep just doing what they're doing and you know what i'm saying soon hopefully i'll have my own crash boys custom bike and rosati have his own crash boys custom bike everybody will have you know what i'm saying their own ways or you know what i'm saying but i feel like crash boys is the only people that's like really on the right path right now for turning bike life into a sport yeah, I feel you. I feel you for sure, bro. I mean, they don't, no other companies give a fuck with them, bro. So. Crash Boys TTO. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, bro, I'm about to hop off this. I'm tired of shit, bro. Yes, sir. Be My safe. fucking brain hurts. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no, definitely. Bro, if you upload this on YouTube, bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, this shit will go crazy for sure. <laughs> if you, like, use the same title as I did yeah. and then put re literally simply put reaction all, all like, after... Bro, this this will be suggested right after my shit, like guaranteed, well, guaranteed. Yeah, just I, but I just I'm make sure, huh? I, said, I think I'm gonna post. It. That was like the main reason I really wanted to have it on Twitch. But make like, sure to trim the beginning where you were trying to figure the mic shit out and all. Like make sure you have it to where it started have you right. Cut out your cutout scenes and shit. If you want, I'll help you. You know, cause you really gave it. You gave a non-biased John, like. You know what I'm saying? A real non buy like, review, so... Yeah, I just, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to come in here and just... <laughs> nah, bro, I was dying at some parts, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, no cap. When D-Blocks came up and he looked like he was, like, 12, I'm like, what the fuck? Nah, bro, shit. Yo, that <laughs> shit was crazy, bro. Yo, I looked like Snoop Dogg in, like, this? the 90s. <laughs> uh, bye, yo. Be safe, bro. I'll see you. All right, y'all. I'm about to end this stream. This was my reaction video to um Rosati's uh video on SC and everything that happened, and Todd Lyons and D Block and One Will Frank, and I had my guy One Way Trandom here with me.
to uh go through the video with me everything he made sure that everything was good the whole time appreciate you and for sure for sure yep rosati just came through but yeah me and my guy we're about to switch off and to play uh warzone so warzone thanks for joining the stream y'all tune into the next one